What would happen if we poured all of Earth's water onto the sun? Would it extinguish it? Would it explode the sun? Would it form a black hole? Well, today we're gonna find out. What would happen if we poured all of the Earth's oceans on it? Or even more water? Well, let's find out. I don't think the Earth's water is enough. I That's think they're gonna need a lot more water. close to being enough. Because the sun is how many times bigger than planet Earth? I it's think like it's a like thousand a thousand times bigger, if I not more. I think so. Yeah. And it's literally a giant fireball. It's not like some of it's fire. The whole thing is one giant fireball. I'm gonna predict so that it would take 10,000 Earth's waters to put out the sun. We would need 1.3 million Earths to fit all of the Earths inside of the sun. Oh all right, my God. Oh, all right, Jack, all right. You're getting that way too so scientific. Many. It's a lot bigger than we thought. Holy cow. Let's see what this guy says about it. The universe is a place full of mysteries. Since Ooh. scientists have been arguing what about how that? space works, but none of us has ever doubted the existence of one thing. The sun. The sun. Well, obviously, we can see uh, it. The center of our solar system. Nice, Alec. It's big, bright, Thanks. and immortal? Nah, mm -hmm. not really. Actually, the sun is just an ordinary star. It consists of 75% hydrogen, a little helium, and a pinch of other heavy elements. All right. Gravity Interesting. holds it all heavy together. Heavy elements. But what could those in around be? 5 billion years, the life cycle of the sun will come to an end. Five the hydrogen inside years. it will run out. Our star will begin to grow gradually, and you can't even imagine just how big it will become. And then it will start eating all the nearby planets. What? That's when we'll regret mm -hmm. being so close to How it. How was it going to get that After big? eating us all, the star will remain a red giant. For a well, luckily, he said, like, what, five billion years? So I think we're chilling. We have five billion years to figure out how to get out of our solar system. I think we can do it. I don't know. I don't know. It's not that what much time, mean? guys. Five it's not that billion much years? I don't even think we've That's been... literally one billion more years than four billion years. Wow. Now that you put it that way, I think you're right. That's We're going to be able to do it. Don't even so worry, guys. We have a lot of After time. After eating us all, the star will remain a red giant for Sun's another hungry. billion years or so. And then That's sooner crazy. or later, it will begin to shrink and fade turning into a white dwarf. In the end, it bulks and then it will cuts. Of it, but a bright and colorful planetary nebula. Seems like we should start pouring water on it like now, right? We got to wait at least a billion more years. Yeah, we, we right. need to figure out yeah. where we can get some this more water. This is a great video actually cuz if we find out how much water we need to pour on it then, then we're chilling. Well, yeah, we can we go need... back to this video and then we can figure it out. Yeah. All we need is a giant fire hose. And okay. just shoot it at it, you know? Okay. That could yeah. work. That could work. Let's see what this guy's saying. That could Maybe work. But a bright and colorful planetary nebula. Maybe. But don't get scared. Right now, the sun is in the middle of its life cycle. It was born about 4.5 billion years ago. Dang, dude. The same Whoa. amount of time remains. Fortunately, we were born during the star's best and most... Let's go! Oh, my nipple. No reason let's to go, work. humans. So okay. let's yeah. find one. How about speeding up the sun's life cycle with the help of water? We'll try to collect all the water on Earth and pour it onto the sun. First, how much water do you think is on Earth? If you guys had to guess right now. Um, Three I'm trillion say, gallons. I'm going to say probably 1.2 trillion tons. All right, so you're what going about by in gallons? All right, I'm going to go for five trillion gallons. You just, you just say what? Okay. Oh, I'm going to say, I'm going to say 120,000 blue whales. I'm going to say 100 trillion gallons of water. 100 wow. trillion. 100 I trillion. forget what I said. All right, let's you go. You said five. I, I said five, how that's many, it? How many quarts is that, Alec? That's like... This this is one gallon. It's one point six sextillion quarts. You guys see how okay. big a gallon is? That's like bigger than my head. So imagine yeah, five so trillion. trillion of those. We need five trillion atom heads yes. worth of water. Oh, now that you put we'll it that way, bucket. probably like Up three. All the water on Earth and pour it onto the sun. <laughs> First, we'll need a bucket. One bucket. No, not this one. We'll need a really, really big bucket. Huge oh, bucket. Oh, 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 Alex, mom 326 size. Three hundred twenty-six million cubic miles of water. It will be equal in size to the distance from Washington to Chicago. What? Or if we can only find ordinary buckets, there should be around 70 quintillion of them. Oh! This is a number with 18 zero. Do we even have that many buckets? Wait, we were we were a little bit off. Just a tiny how, bit off. How many gallons is per in bucket? one bucket? It's got to be at least a one gallon, right? Let's say one Dude, gallon per bucket. Those look like one gallon buckets. I've never even heard of the number quintillion. I think that's one Alec after only a thinks trillion. Of, Alex, what'd you say? Sextillion? 1.6 yeah. sextillion? Okay, so we have we have hundreds here. Then we have thousands. Then we have millions. Then we have billions, trillions. Billions. Then trillions. Then trillions. Then, then, trillions, then, then what's that one? What? Sextillions or quintillion? Quintillion. 
Quadrillion. I don't know. Whoever gets oh, past God, a trillion. Oh, oh God. A trillion is such a big number, you never hear any other numbers. 70 quintillion of them. 70 this is a number with 18 zeros. That's a whole lot okay. of zeros. Imagine that we magically if you divide that, that number, buckets, it's If you divide that number by 70 quintillion, that's how many brain cells Adam has. Adam, can you do that math? 70 quintillion divided by 70 quintillion equals, equals, Adam? He's grabbing his TI-84 calculator. We'll check it back in with Adam later. Time to put out the sun. We splash the star with all this water and nothing? Oh, Nothing? just look at this. The sun has probably felt sorry for us and produced one little solar flare. It turns out that all water on Earth is actually just a pathetic drop for the sun. What? People often underestimate how much bigger the sun really is than our planet. In reality, it can fit more than 1,003,000 Earths. Holy so cow. Yes, That's what I said! The sun won't go out or even get colder. It won't even notice that we've done something. Yeah, That's but. crazy. We really want the sun to go out for some reason. Wow. What happens if we pour just enough water on it? And how much, how much is, is this that? enough? Remember our quintillions of buckets? Well, yes. we actually need about 370 octillions of them. I don't even know this how big that is. 27 zeros. Oh my wow. gosh. It's hard to even imagine. So let's just say that oh it's a gosh. lot Oh my gosh. One. Oh. Oh. Is it one? Yeah! Good job, Adam! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. That's, right, how many, back. that's how many brain cells you have. One brain cell. Aw. Let's splash it all over the sun again. Wow, just look at the steam. But the sun hasn't gone out again. Do you guys think it's going to make obsidian? On the contrary, it said thank you. And oh, suddenly became much obsidian. bigger One and brighter. One giant obsidian block. What's happening? Wait, it gets bigger and brighter? Guys, maybe after this we can make another portal. And like there's a whole new dimension in real life. Did you guys just hear that? Well, I think another portal is actually a black hole, but that's a different conversation. But did you guys just hear that? If we pour, I think it was like 180 octillion buckets of water. Yeah. That we got the sun would get Adam. bigger. It doesn't go out. It gets bigger. It embraces it, it the it. cold. It eats it's it like it's a big man. It. It's bulking up from the water. You see, the sun isn't actually a campfire. Inside bonfires, candle flames, there's a chemical combustion. When we pour water on the fire, the water absorbs the heat of the flame and cools it to such an extent oh. that it can no longer maintain the burning reaction. It also blocks the it fire's access it. to oxygen. Water basically stops the chemical process. But the burning of the sun isn't the same reaction. Even though we say it burns, it's not oh, entirely true. Yeah. What happens there is called nuclear fusion. It's one of the most violent and craziest reactions in the universe. There are many layers of hydrogen going deep into the sun. If you take four hydrogen atoms and ram them together, you're left with an atom of helium. When we talk about the sun, the process is a little more complicated. When the star tries to carry out that fusion, positive protons repel each other. It takes a lot of force and energy to confused. somehow squeeze them together. Fortunately, there's a magical force in space. It's gravity. The sun takes up 99.8% of all the mass of the solar system. All right, Alec, um, can you explain to us what he just said the past minute in your own words? So 99.8% of the sun mm -hmm. is fire. I'm talking and about before water, that. No. Water? No, you wrong. put water on fire and it extinguishes it, but it doesn't work that way for the sun because you think things come together for the sun. I knew he was. And they, they don't do that on Earth. He was not understanding. So, so I think Alec has half the brain cells of Adam. So water no good <laughs> against sun. Water makes sun big. Water makes sun big. Pretty heavy, right? And all this mass is what holds the sun together with the help of an incredible gravitational force. So gravity takes quadrillions of these little hydrogen atoms and pushes them together every second of every day. And when they collide, they release some energy. So, unlike Whoa. fire, the sun doesn't need oxygen to live. Mm. It right, needs there's no oxygen hydrogen. in space. Oh, yeah. And we all know that water is H2O. H2O. It two hydro of two hydrogen, hydrogen and oxygen. So, this is literally Burns the oxygen fuel for the sun. and absorbs the hydrogen. It's like trying to put out a fire with gasoline. Oh. More importantly, the extra mass added by water wow. will make the sun heavier. Now, gravity says, thank That's you for crazy. your help. And then it starts to collide protons with each other even faster. Oh my and gosh. thanks to this, the synthesis speeds up. 
So the sun is invincible. Like how the would we- The sun starts getting bigger and bigger. How would we destroy that? the sun? You Maybe can't. gasoline is its kryptonite. We do the Uno reverse. Can we mute Alec? What is he even talking about? I'm just saying, cause gasoline works on our planet, but it doesn't there. And water diffuses situations here, but it doesn't there. So Uno so reverse. So you want to put gasoline on the sun? He's trying to Uno reverse the sun. Like it's some sort of card game. I don't no understand. No one's tried it before. No one's tried it before. I'm just saying. It could be worth a shot. Maybe Alec is right. Let's watch until the no end No one's tried out. anything before. We haven't gotten close to the sun. The sun incredibly strong, and now it has eaten us, along with other nearby planets. And if we so keep we're all adding dead. water, the sun will sooner or later collapse in on itself. Ooh. It will blow okay. off its outer layers and become a black hole. Awesome. Yes, because it got it too big. Now it will pull inside absolutely oh. everything around. Good job, guys. What? Let's press rewind because we made another portal. our water experiment was You're right, mistake. Adam. Yeah, I was right. We make another portal. If we put too much water onto the sun, it creates a black hole, which is another portal. It's a portal. To somewhere. That's pretty cool. One small solar where. flare sounds much better. All right, we're back to our usual calm sun. But it seems like there's something that we forgot. Well, yeah, apparently, water was critically important for life on Earth. Who would have thought? <laughs> now there's a huge amount of unmoving fish and other marine creatures lying around where the oceans used to be. Yeah. Poor thing. And the sun got bigger. As for deep yeah, sea creatures, so they simply didn't withstand such a sharp change in pressure. Algae and corals have also dried up. GGs. Wait a minute. Weren't they responsible for producing 50 to 80% of the world's oxygen? Uh oh. Oops. Uh -oh. Yeah. It's time to put on some oxygen masks. And how are things on dry land? I mean, now everything is just land. But you get the point. Wow, this whole place is lit. And I mean it literally. If there are no oceans, then there are no clouds or rain. Now there are forest fires oh, everywhere. Wow. Poor animals have to escape and leave their home. Oh my. That's rough. And it's not like they'll be able to find a new home because all plants, of course, will dry up quickly. There will be literally no place for living left on the So essentially, isn't that what happened to Mars? I All of the water evaporated and then everything burned, you know, like a couple billion years ago. Was there ever water on Mars? There was, yeah. yeah, they've done tests. It's still there. It's just like deep beneath the surface. Wait, so was there life on Mars? There could have been billions of years ago. We got to watch a video on that. Leave a like if you want to see a video on that. That should be learn. pretty cool. That, that's learn. crazy. Are we going we to Mars right our now? brain cells. I don't know, guys. 20,000 likes and we'll think about it. You love that like goal. You love that 20,000. I do. So now Earth looks like a giant desert. Great. But people have been living in deserts for thousands of years, that right? That is true. Maybe they'll know but what to do. Everyone needs water. They won't. And oxygen. After all, people in the desert. Well, Alec, the camels are going to have water in like their camel back, so we could just use that probably. Oh, for true. A bit. We just we just drink camels pretty much. It's all camels. We drink water. from the camel's humps. Right. Yeah. I love camel yeah. humps. Drink from the hump. To drink. Yes. So now there's total chaos everywhere, and survivors fight for the last drops of water, if there are any survivors at all. In fact, no matter how much they fight for resources, their fate is sealed. The ocean absorbs a huge amount of CO2 and the heat coming from the sun. They also distribute this heat throughout the planet, making it pleasant to live on. But once oh, they're gone, okay. the temperatures will quickly jump to 250 yeah. degrees Fahrenheit. That makes sense. And above. We can't survive that. But Alec just we're gonna said have to go underground. Sense. That makes sense. If there's no water, that uh, it'll get real hot. Alec has not hot. been following anything that's happening in this video. It makes sense. <laughs> trust me. It makes sense. <laughs> you just gotta it. trust me. Alec knows this. Just stuff. gotta trust me, dude. It makes Come sense. On. It just makes sense. Alec is a certified scientist. High temperatures. Now we have no clouds, and they helped us too by not letting through solar radiation. So we're also yep, under the solar direct radiation, impact Adam. of the sun's rays. Our last hope is icebergs. Yeah. Now that everything is terribly hot, they've melted. Oh. And maybe they'll be the last hope for humanity. Oh, but cool. But that cool solar flare was definitely worth it. Silly humans. Silly humans. Well, moral of the story, we're not gonna put water on the sun. And you shouldn't too, because it's a bad idea. Today, we're checking out what would happen if different sized asteroids hit the Earth. I'm talking asteroid sizes ranged from 5 meters all the way up to 10 miles in radius. That's a lot. Can the Earth survive? Let's find out. All right, the first asteroid is 4 meters big. Wow, that's already bigger than that woman. That is much bigger than that woman. And this is so it's going to show us what would happen if, if a 4 meter, a 4 meter asteroid hit. New York City. Oh, okay. That's not that big. 
That is not that big. No, but it's coming in hot, right? Whoa! Yo, oh, it didn't even make it to New York oh, City. It, didn't it broke even make up in the atmosphere. <laughs> wow, L is wow. embarrassing. What a this L. This one is 20 meters big. Dude, okay. Wow. Wow, it's, that's the size of something big. Yes. Why are all these hitting New York City? Well, I think it's well, just what is a this, good comparison. What is this Clearly, that's where the aliens would attack, Adam. In every movie, New York City gets attacked. I would go after, like, a Utah. Why? <laughs> There's nothing Utah. going on in Utah. You know? I would go after Utah. Is this one even going to make it? Now I'm worried like none so. of these are even going to make it. Oh, no. Wait, why doesn't what it the make heck? it? Oh, 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 wait, oh, it broke up into oh. tiny pieces. Oh. Yo. Why look, does it do look that? At, look at New York. It's because Jack knows. He's smart. It's like the... So, Adam, when it comes into the atmosphere, it's getting really hot, right? The atmosphere is heating it up with the speed as it's coming in. The air gets denser and denser as it's coming in, and then it breaks up into a bunch of different pieces. But if the pieces are too big, they could come past the atmosphere, hit the earth, and have a little mini explosion. And make big boom. That's how dinosaurs died. Okay, now we're talking. This is like skyscraper almost level. How big are these meteors going to get? 50 meters big. How how big are these they're gonna, gonna get? get big. They're gonna get big. I told they're gonna get miles big. We're only uh, yeah, at 50 I think it meters. might be as big as the moon. No. Oh, oh, okay. This one's up. gonna have some serious damage. Oh. There goes Manhattan. Wow. Oh I don't know if you gosh. guys are catching that, but there's like a sound wave too, so it's breaking the yeah. sound barrier when it breaks. Whoa, this one's bigger than the Mona Lisa. Wow. Are these real meteor impacts that have happened in real life? So, no, you I don't dummy. Know. I don't think that they've actually hit New York City. However, giant asteroids have been hitting the Earth for billions of years. We're just lucky that most of them break up in the atmosphere. Aren't there like some locations where you can go and see like meteor craters? Like there's still oh, yeah. craters. Yeah, there's tons of them, especially Africa, I'm pretty sure, has like one of the biggest craters still, and it's like a huge valley. Is the Grand Canyon? Down. Grand Canyon was actually made by water that goes through for millions and millions of years. There's no way you actually thought that. Also, guys, I don't know if you knew this, but you know when you look up at the moon and it kind of looks like a bunch of different little dots? Those are all from asteroids. Oh. And the asteroids, it, it doesn't have the atmosphere, so it, it can't break them up like the Earth does. So those are all different like little asteroid craters. Wow. The more you know. That's crazy. What if the moon hit the Earth? That would be a really big asteroid. I think that might be the last oh. thing that's in this video. Oh my gosh. Yo! Wow. 1.6, 1.6 kilometer meteor. That's crater. almost a mile long, right? I think so. And it's like 0.7 miles. Hmm. That's crazy. Okay, and th these are only gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. So the impact energy on this one is like the SAR bomb, which is one of the first ever nuclear bombs that was created. Wait, is this 51 SAR bombs or is this the SAR bomb 51? No, it's 51 of them. 51 oh nuclear bombs. Oh my gosh! Bombs. Okay, New York City's gone. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I think this is going to expand <laughs> all the way into like all of the East Coast. Is probably gonna be wiped out. Oh my out. god! It's, it's, it's not even that big. The Eiffel Tower. Dude, the Eiffel Tower's huge. I know, but it's not that big. <laughs> oh, it's- Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. Wow. Oh! That, that cannot be accurate. It just destroyed all of New York City. <laughs> yeah. You know what's crazy is like, this could actually happen. This could actually happen. No way. Well, yeah, I mean, okay. So the chances of this happening are very, very, very small. It's how the dinosaurs died. No. It is. However, it was from that, water, was a, Alec. that was at a time when our asteroid belt wasn't fully developed. Our asteroid belt now is like as safe as, as it's ever been. Like, the so asteroid it's like protecting belt, us? Yeah. So it protects, um, I believe, like the inner three planets. So it protects like us, Venus, Mercury. And I also think Mars is right within that cusp, but that's why we don't get hit because we're protected by this whole asteroid belt. So any big asteroids coming in go into the belt and then they just get trapped in the belt. So that's why we haven't been hit by many asteroids. I don't understand. If a big meteor is coming down, right? Why can't we just shoot our own meteor at it and then blow it up? Yeah, like let's just call Iron Man to go deal with it. That just is what scientists have said, that they should redirect it. If there ever is a big asteroid, they're going to send out rockets to move it a little bit so that it just gets like, I like, like that. propelled by our gravitational me? pull. Uh-oh, boys. Uh-oh. <laughs> so we're already at a mile wow. long. One mile long. <laughs> One That's kilometer, a kilometer, Adam. That's 0. 0.6 miles. Oh. Oh, oh. boys. Whoa. Yep, this one's coming right into planet That one looks big. That's Earth. pretty much the sun. That one looks big. That one looks nasty. That one is on fire. Oh, GG's New York. GG's. Okay, yes. Oh, New Downtown York is getting destroyed. Manhattan. I think at first I would think that this was a firework. So oh! I'd, I'd, I'd like start cheering. Oh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my! It just destroyed. It actually just destroyed all of New York. Oh, that's more than just New York. Fourteen kilometer crater. That whole crater is New York, dude. That probably makes like earthquakes too. 
Okay. Oh my. Chick okay. Chick okay. This is twenty times bigger. That's what took out the dinosaurs. So it's similar to the one that took out the eight million seven hundred thousand T Zar bomb. Zarbomb. This is twenty times bigger than the last one. Do you guys think you would do anything if you saw it coming at you? Like if you looked in the sky and you saw it? I would try and dodge. Like, what would you do? I poop my pants. You poop your pantsies? I would too. Oh. Here it comes. It's entering the atmosphere. Broke the atmosphere. Oh. 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 Whoa! There's the That's entire why, North America. That's why the dinosaurs got deleted because of that. Yo, it made a volcano. So it's not even like, so that happens, right? Even if you survive this, there's going to be an immediate ice age that happens from all of the, the carbon dioxide that gets emitted. Immediate ice age. Why would there oh. be ice? No, th that's not accurate. Because look, if you look, there's so much fire. Yeah, yeah we have it, ice it clouds the atmosphere, boys. And then it blocks out the sun. And then the sun can no longer get to the earth anymore. So it just turns oh. ice cold. I actually did hear about that. I heard like the dinosaurs didn't actually die to the meteor. But because there was so much like dust and everything, no more trees or vegetation could grow and so they couldn't eat anymore they all starved to death and died these small things could survive That's because what I was they didn't need a lot to eat they could mm -hmm. they could you know burrow underground and stuff they didn't need to worry about it i completely right. agree and that's what i was saying from the jump exactly wait that only destroyed one country i mean it's a lot but there's still seven billion people Four billion years ago, this thing hit Earth. So also, I, I know, I, so I just came from like a planetarium a couple months back, but um, they actually said, so the moon, right? The moon used to be a part of Earth. I heard that before. No, I don't an know asteroid if I believe that. Hit, what are you talking about? Why, why don't, don't you believe, believe it? Why don't you believe it? Because it just sounds silly. It sounds it, like they it want hit, it to be true, but yeah. it's yeah. like it got hit by an asteroid really and then it got a flat dinked Earth off and then it started going around. I don't know if I believe Guys, that. Guys, you know Horton Hears a Who? You know, like some universes <laughs> can be really small. You know that theory? Oh, For some reason, I'm thinking like, what if like a horn here is a universe is stuck in my toilet and I'm like this thousand tar bomb with my turds dropping in the toilet. That would be crazy if you think you about it. You probably are. Yeah. I'm destroying planets with my turds. <laughs> That's good. So this one's wiping out planet Earth, right? I don't think so. I think it's going to destroy half of the planet. And I think well, the whole planet is going to be gone. Look at how small it is, though, compared to the Earth. This one is landing in Italy. So no more pizza. Wait, guys, what if it landed in water instead of a planet? Would that uh, change tsunami? anything? I feel like that would change a lot. Um, I think tsunami. it would. Oh my gosh! Yo, look at all like the the fire coming off at the top. Are those all gonna land? Are those all like little meteors? Yup. That's like it's a bunch like of a, little meteors. Like a shrapnel grenade. Okay, this one definitely destroy all of Earth. No one is gonna live. No one's living after this. You only need like a tiny little meatball in Whoa. order to destroy Earth. Whoa! That was the moon. We almost got hit, guys. We almost just got hit. Yo. I like your cut, G. That's pretty sick, though. I'm not gonna lie. Even though that's my Earth, I still feel like that's pretty cool. I'm so happy. Like, if that happened, I would be like, wow, that's a pretty cool way to go out. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know if you'll have time to think that. Oh, that looks like the moon. Oh, no. That is a moon. That's a moon. That's a Jupiter moon, I think. Series. Oh, <laughs> Wait, what's oh, their man. issue with Turkey? Sing to now. You think they have a problem against Turkey? I mean, it's either Turkey or chicken that has to go. That's the size of the moon. Well, it's, that it's is a, insane. Yeah, it is a moon. It looks like it's moving slow, though. Maybe it'll just like land nicely, nice and peacefully, you know? Then we can add to our Earth. Exactly. We can so colonize it. little top hat. It's saying Ceres is about 27% the size of our moon. Oh, that's like kind of tiny. Yeah, it's only it's like only a, quarter. a quarter. Yeah, this is tiny. Nice one. Look how slow it's going though. Maybe it'll just like be nice uh -huh. and land kindly. I think it's going s slow relative to its size. Oh. Okay, it did not land kindly. I can confirm. Yep. It did, oh. it and it there did goes not Africa. land very kindly. There goes Africa. The media is racist. They're coming for North America now. That okay. is wow. insane. Okay, it's not racist. Sorry. That is just, this is only a quarter size of the moon. It Wait, just, what would happen? It just destroyed everybody. It turned the earth into the sun. Oh my, it actually does look like the sun. That's crazy. Wait, do you think that's how the sun was created? No. That's insane. I th I think I just oh, wow. solved something. Oh, there's so a survival manual, boys. We can learn how to survive. Who is surviving? What are you talking about? <laughs> All you gotta do is just jump in the pool, and we're good. Just jump that's in the pool. If you time it correctly, yeah. you can jump over the blast, and you're good. True. That's a good point. <laughs> the question is not if, but when. If Earth collided with Mars, which planet would survive? I'm Team Earth, baby. Earth, 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 Earth. I don't think either one would survive. They both explode. Well, let's okay. find out. Comment down below what you think. around the world go out on the streets and rooftops to look at the amazing cosmic phenomenon. Another planet right next to the moon. A big red one. At first, everyone's excited. Are Mars we? showing up out of nowhere is having a strange effect on I'd humanity. I'd be terrified. 
Just as the moon can affect the psychological and physical state of some people, Mars is un Is that true? Do you guys ever look at the moon and you're like, psychologically, I feel better. If I see a full moon, my, my mood goes up about 35%. I get scared because I think about how tiny everything is and how tiny I am. And You are small. Do you ever look at the moon and think somebody's up there looking back at you? No. No, there's no life on Mars. Unexpected visit is causing people to behave pretty strangely. Every night, the sky is lit up by the white light of the moon Whoa. and the red glow Whoa. of Mars. Looks like evil and darkness. Many people get I a like sort that. of instant it's like something insomnia. out of Star Wars. Some even stop drinking coffee because they no what? longer feel huh? sleepy. Mars huh. brings out energy and is a little a wildness in is this people, true? making That's crazy. them laugh more and even drives a few poor no. people crazy. No. Okay, wait, why would it make us more energetic? With the light. Like the red light yeah. is just known to make you more energetic and then you're happier. I think, I'm pretty sure. It's like the infrared sauna. It, Maybe I we're feel all like werewolves and vampires. It's making people kind of crazy. Mm -hmm. Almost, yeah, like insomnia, yeah. Because yeah. they, they wouldn't be able to sleep with those bright lights. Why they not? begin to go out of their houses more often and enjoy the <laughs> unusual night sky. A few days yeah. later, everybody technically you can, can see survive. what's happening. Mars is getting bigger. What are you talking Scientists about? Announced that the red planet People go to sleep because it's nighttime and it's dark outside. But if the Mars was outside, then we'd stay awake all the time because it would always be sunny. Adam, I want you to shut your eyes right now. Is it light or is it dark? It's dark. Yeah, so what are you talking People about? People go to bed because it's dark. People go to bed because they're tired. No, no. You, what? It's because of the moon cycle, but the Mars cycle would throw you all out of work. You have no idea what you're talking about. Why? But the Mars, it, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be like the sun. Earth. It would be A pretty collision. dark is inevitable. Earthlings only have a few years left. A few months ago, <laughs> some a huge asteroid <laughs> crashed into the red planet with that such force that Mars ball. suddenly no flew way. out of its own orbit Home and run. went rogue. The chance what? that Mars would oh. fly close to Earth was always going to be pretty high. After about three seconds of being really? announced, the news went viral and panic set in. The situation's Does getting worse this? and worse. No! The closer Mars gets, the more it affects people on a physical level. Hundreds of videos oh pop up showing collision simulations of Mars <laughs> That's and exactly Earth. what we're watching. And there's no happy ending. Want to see what happens? One famous blogger yeah. asked her followers. The Earth's almost oh. <laughs> completely covered with water, and Mars is That's all true. dust, sand, and rocks. Huh. Then she puts a huge watermelon in the middle of her room. From the far end, okay. she launches a bowling ball at it. Bang! Right. Mars looks almost the so same size as the moon now. Yeah. It's about to come in. Wait, 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 wait. Mars is not the same size as the moon, is it? That's what I'm saying, bro. If Mars comes out, it's like this teeny tiny way up in the sky. Oh, you can barely guys, see it. It's, it's not. Like you guys are done. He's moon. saying that Adam, Mars is stop. way further back than the moon. Mars is twice the size of the moon. We know this, but it's further back. It's so far away. All three balls, the Earth, Mars, and the moon, they are rock and metal. All three balls. I only <laughs> have two you. of those. Thanks. Okay. Into the moon's orbit, and it's affecting Look, the Earth's magnetic field. Thank you. It's field. getting bigger. Floods, it's coming. hurricanes, Into the tsunamis, wow. powerful thunderstorms. That's crazy. They go from bad to worse. Animals go crazy. Wow. Birds no longer migrate <laughs> Animals south. Go crazy. <laughs> the polar northern <laughs> lights appear in the Caribbean. Whoa, that's cool. The economy isn't handling the news that well. I wouldn't. People stop showing up to work. Why Same. wouldn't they? They just want to... Yeah, I mean, okay, so let's say today you guys got news that Mars is coming and it's going to hit Earth in a year. What do you do? I would start building nukes. I'd build a giant bunker. How, like, you guys I, have zero skills. How are you going to do that? I would Alex's hire someone really to handy. build a giant bunker. But the people that you're going to hire, they're not going to care. They're going to build them a bunker for themselves. That's true. I would pay them in any way possible to live in their bunker. Wait, but if they don't like money, what will you give them? You don't want to know. Entertainment. Alec could be like a jester from the olden ages. That's a good question. You're not gonna like the answers, Jack. I should say I'm gonna entertain. To have fun and be like with that. loved ones. There Adam's solution is always to use little boys. To last until the catastrophe. They're very so no one's even trying to fix the Earth's problems. Clothing, food, cars, yachts, it's like whatever. the movie Don't Look Up. Everything loses its value and becomes free. Every day, huh. huge street parties hey. pop up all over the world. People decide to live their last months in peace and harmony. Those last few months will be crazy fun, though. Wow. Like never uh, before. Uh, 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 to go out with a bang, I play so much Fortnite. I think this is incorrect. Rock concert. 
The red giant destroying our- I think this is completely wrong. I totally you disagree. So? No, no there, I, there would be a I large like amount of people doing this, Alex. There would be so many people just celebrating. It would be total anarchy, bro. No one would care about any laws. People would be running around rampant, stealing things, just going crazy. Like, yeah, people will party, but like, I think most people would just break all the laws that they can and just do whatever they want. Is that what you would do? I don't think so, but I think that's what a lot of people would do. But why? Because there's only a year left to live, and so people are just gonna do whatever they want. But why can't they just do that right now? Because it's against the law. But that doesn't stop people today. Because they don't want to spend the rest of their life because in prison. But the prison doesn't even exist, Jack. Exactly. Beautiful. Probably. Assassins and such. Yeah, rock and roll's the perfect soundtrack. There's just enough time to eat, dance, party, and listen to good music. Huge stages are built all over the planet. It's every musician's last concert. Okay, I would definitely During not be listening to that preparation. To music. Hope suddenly appears. Hey, scientists have calculated Why? all the events that'll occur when Mars crashes into Earth, and they have a simple plan. Luckily, humans okay. had already planned on moving to Mars, yes. so they already have been uh, building right. spaceships for years. There's no time Sweet. to get to another planet before the collision. But the good news is that people can wait out the disaster just outside Earth's orbit. It's not going to be a lot of people. You get to sit in a space station, munch some popcorn, relax, and that be real? enjoy That's the show. That's going to be about 0.5% of the settles, population. It might just Probably be less. possible to return wait, to Earth or what's left. they get hit by debris? Essentially, it's like WALL-E, right? Like with the plot of WALL-E that we would just like go out into a giant space station and kind of just like wait for Earth to be fine again. Yep. Like so, the 100. I like yeah, WALL-E. It could be like better. the 100. I, do you think that that's like a plan in, in place right now? Like there's obviously the International Space Station, but do you think that they have like spaceships ready to take a large amount of the population into space? No, not a large amount, but uh, probably about like 10,000. Probably like the billionaires. Yeah. The billionaires are going to be able to go. The billionaires and all the, all the content creators on YouTube. YouTube. Right, okay. That sounds good. So they're gonna need entertainment somehow. Love it. After learning about this plan, people start working on finishing the ships night and day. Everyone in the world pitches in. Yay. There are still two years left before the big day. The huge concert stages are converted into more space stations. What? Why wouldn't Mars they do this is earlier? Giving people more energy. Because they had and to celebrate. Epic teamwork, people managed to create thousands of stations in just a few months. Really? That's what happens okay. when 7 billion people work together. Farmers, Actually, that's a good point. You guys think, like, with everybody working together, if there isn't, like, crazy anarchy, like, that we would actually be able to get more people into space. I think so. There's a lot of lazy people. Adam, you gotta think, though. Do you remember the, uh, the space race? Have you ever, like, read about the space race between us and, uh, Russia? Yeah. Adam. Okay, I was gonna yeah. say. Right? Yeah, yeah, you know about that. When we, like, all of our budget and all of our manpower was spent on, like, let's get to space before Russia. And we literally had so many technological advances within, like, that 10-year span. So imagine if we if we had to do that again. Wasn't that fake? Some people say so. Some people do say it's fake. I hope not. Chefs, engineers, athletes, accountants, all on the same team. Mars is now closer to us than the moon. The red giant blocks out the sun, and our planet is plunged into darkness. No. There are only a <laughs> Alec few is raiding left. and pillaging. People yep. are working like ants <laughs> in a massive colony, putting the finishing touches on several hundred thousand space stations. Why are they painting it, it bro? You're about to die. I know, right? Who cares about the board. stupid paint? Plus, it's gotta look the nice when the aliens come and take us animals, over. Animals, fish, seeds, plants, vegetables, fruits, video oh, games. Noah's space Video on. games, come on! The red giant is scheduled to enter <laughs> Earth's orbit in a couple Fortnite. of days. Gonna be that Fortnite is so outside. scary. It'll really pick up speed. Mars is only a little more than half the size of Earth, but up in the sky, it looks infinitely huge. Whoa. The ships start taking off. See you. People take a last look around, <laughs> memorizing <laughs> oh, sorry, image. Alex. In a few hours, it'll all change you forever. Behind. The stations fly up far enough away to clear any orbits. That's not a lot of Two people in those spaceships. colliding together should still have a soundtrack, though. Rock stars on every ship organize an outer space music festival. Why are they going to throw this in? No, they're not. <laughs> some sound of rock. There's going to be so many people left behind. They're not going to start <laughs> celebrating. This is like going to be a worst day in history. This releases an incredible this amount of energy. the last day in history for Earth. Here we go. Faster and faster. This is what happens. Into the I think it's ocean. just going to splash. A huge wow. blast wave sweeps across the entire yeah, the planet. Wow. Everything is lit up by flames, and everyone on the ships has to put on sunglasses to avoid being blown. Our blue really? planet is turning into a fiery one. It's going to turn to with the, the, the sun. The dust of Mars oh my gosh, with the water sun. of Earth. The so force smart. of the impact goes through the Earth's crust into what? the liquid hot magma. Hundreds of pieces of Mars, some the size of entire countries, are somehow floating in the atmosphere. 
The what? collision generates so much energy that all oceans boil and evaporate. Wow. No. Seas and rivers of molten metal are now spreading all over Earth. Holy we lost smokes. water? Days, weeks, months pass. A belt made up of bits of Mars forms around the Earth. It's like a fiery version of Saturn. It'll take a long time before it's safe to land back down. Yeah, wouldn't it take like millions of years? Can't stay alive on the ships all that time. They're gonna run out of water. Food, water, and oxygen and will run out after a few years. That's it. But scientists already have a plan. VR. Wait, there's a, some sort of headset. What's our plan? Can't they make their own like plant system and they like they grow trees and stuff inside to get oxygen? <laughs> How are they gonna yeah. water it, Alec? They don't have any water. We need to figure out. If a way you don't have any water, water you're yeah, you screwed. Filter, you're done. Filter your pee. It's a Minecraft. Your pee. You filter your pee and then you can drink that again. Yeah. Wait, that's what they do in space. Yeah, that is true. Eventually, Actually, run out. But you know, you. They you say. Oh. They say that all water that you've drank has been consumed already and peed out by dinosaurs. That is what they say. That's what they say. No. So you're actually, you always are drinking dinosaur pee. It's no. Ask me who, but they, Adam, they say You're drinking it. my pee? You're drinking Alex's No, pee? no, I don't do that anymore. <laughs> you're drinking pee, Adam. No! The ships flip a switch and become huge cryo chambers. The ships are equipped with energy panels and the roasting hot earths giving off a lot of energy. Wow. Totally enough to keep the ships working while everyone on board takes a few thousand like year nap. As soon as the planet cools down, humans will wake up. Hundreds of thousands of years pass. One day, alarms what? go off simultaneously on all the ships. Wake up! Time People for school! Wake up slowly. Their bodies are exhausted. They've been in VR for thousands of years. Two billion cups of coffee. That's what we're in right now. Ready to go. Down on Earth, new continents should have formed, and the atmosphere is most likely way different. The planet might have lost its original orbit, so it might be spinning at a different angle. Huh. The seasons as we know them, gone. All the water on Earth evaporated in the first few wow. hours. Can it even be But there are huge glaciers on Mars, which might have melted on impact. Mars may have shared its water with our planet. Oh. The clouds of dust and dirt should have settled by now, and the ground should be pretty good for growing stuff on. All that magma probably spewed up a bunch of useful minerals and chemicals. It's going to be difficult, Whoa, but humanity so somehow cool. must adapt to the that new kinda, world. Yeah, that does look cool. People are ready for anything. All the Earthlings run to the nearest windows okay. to see what their beloved planet looks like after all these centuries. Um, where is it? Alec People are craning uh -oh. their necks, looking out at the empty spot where the Earth used to be. What? The impact of Mars what? was so oh, strong pushed... that it pushed the Earth out of Whoa. its orbit around the sun. Yo. It's gone. So, Great. where do we go? What Wait, are we going to do now? Some bearded guy grabs a guitar. Oh, Let's play. Why are they all red haired? We're screwed. Dogs Earth is screwed. If the, the whole universe is in the fate of the red hair people. If Mars hits Earth, I learned one thing, and that's we're going to have a giant concert. We're going to have a, a rock concert, and we're all going to die. We just, they're all gonna die. The Earth's gone. That was actually really, really, really cool. But you know what I always wondered, Adam? What is that, Jack? What would happen if the moon crashed into Earth? Ooh, that's a good one. I don't know. If only we had a way to figure it out. What do you guys think would happen if we detonated every single nuke on planet Earth? We're gonna see what would happen if we exploded every single nuke on planet Earth, starting from the smallest nuke all the way to the biggest nuke that we've ever created. Technology. Video. Next oh up, we got gosh. the Fat Man in Nagasaki, oh Japan. Gosh, Why do they dude. call it the Fat Man? Fat Man. I don't know, but it's oh, a big boy. Oh my gosh! I think Terrible. I just was blinded by light. No, wow. bro. Wait, this is the, actually sad. Yeah, the cameraman right? never dies. It was the second of only two nuclear weapons ever used in warfare. And right. hopefully the last. I really hope so. So all the, all the ones in the future from now, they were test bombs in a non-populated area. RDS-3. Oh, Forty one. Here's the next biggest. Oh, 42. I guess it. Big Ben. Okay, so this oh is the hypothetical. Oh my gosh. If it was in London. Whoa! Bro, it would decimate London So if London that dropped easily. in London, it would just disappear. Oh, dude, everything in London. I think all of England would disappear. Oh, yeah, for sure. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Holy smokes. That's huge. London is London no more, bro. It's gone. That's only London number three. London is London. No, don't do France. Next up, what is that? That's, bye, my, bye, that's where my home family lives. What is this one called? No! Uh, this one is called the France Destructo 9000. Uh, this one's called Goodbye France. Uh, one thing that's so really scary. scary. Is Bombs. Everything could just disappear at once. Uh, Look at it. We, we exploded. Bro! 
Well, one, one thing that's really scary about nuclear bombs, too, is the radioactivity that comes off of the actual yeah, explosion. You won't have to worry about so, that if you live in France when this thing drops. Well, the oh actual my explosion gosh. is probably wow. a couple miles big, but then the radioactivity that goes off of it will I kill know, a lot more people. I know, exactly. It's like when you take a crap in a toilet, it's like it's bad on impact, but then it smells everywhere. Exactly, dude. The North Korean. Wow. Okay. I feel like that bomb has a target. Yeah. Oh, wow, 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 wow. We're, we're gone. If that ever happens, boys, it's over for us. Oh my gosh. All right, B boys. Do you think they named it the North Korean as code so no one knows like who the bomb is meant for? It was probably South Korea. I would be terrified to live in whatever world that we're watching this in. Like, this is a horrible place to be. And it's possible. All of these nukes exist. Don't say I that, was gonna Jack. say, that is the current, this is the current world. That, that is the current world. I don't know, but this is a hypothetical world where if they detonated all of the nukes. The thing is, I feel like right now, if one nuclear bomb goes off, everyone's setting their nuclear bombs and it's, the whole world's gonna turn into a crisis. This one's called the TN8081. Who named that? Now, the cities are just getting bigger and bigger and they're getting deleted. Bro! <laughs> they need to zoom out more so we can see this from the top down it Earth. It literally just set the air on fire. 300 KT. This is the first one that has black smoke. I can't even tell like how big that is anymore. So the French actually have some crazy bombs. I didn't know that. Uh, yeah, but it's going to be tiny French bomb. in comparison to the US biggest bomb. True, the US has like the craziest yep. military Speaking ever. of, this, uh, this is the a bomb Ivy that the USA King. currently has. This is if it was dropped in South Korea. Oh my God! No! What? No way! Largest pure Wait, fission we weapon tested, tested by pure USA. fission weapon tested by the USA. So we, we exploded this. this. That is insane. Why would we ever even test this thing? I, we, yeah, we probably did it in like Kansas well, or something. Probably in like some desert. Or I'm pretty sure a lot of bombs are tested in the middle of the ocean. Yeah. Oh my gosh, those poor fish. Yeah, a lot of fish die. This one's called the tadpole. Well, your Bink. mom's still swimming. All right. Oh, my, oh my gosh. No way. That literally blew up like half of the continent. You can Why see does it Russia from have space? all these nukes? They're preparing for something. They're prepar preparing for the alien invasion. It hopefully. says it's Korean, uh, currently in the Russian arsenal. Is Korean in the Russian arsenal? Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. I'm, I'm so terrified. glad Adam is not in charge of our nuclear terrified. system. Imagine if I had the power bombs. to press a nuclear button. I don't think anybody would ever want that. Adam, you would press it by accident while you were yeah. in the oh, tube. Adam, Adam would go, what did this button do? Bink. Just go explore the How world. How big was that? <laughs> that was too big. That was way How too big. Minute Man 1 warhead. I wish we could see like the distance because that one's definitely 10 times bigger than the last one. I don't want to know the distance, dude. That would be incredibly scary. There's still so many more bombs that oh we haven't God. seen oh, either. Oh, here we go. This one's the owned B83. by the USA. No, I've not the I've blown up this B83. one in Minecraft. And let me tell you boys, not it's big. The this is the biggest city in China. Oh, Bro! my God. Oh, oh, my. oh my. nobody needs this much power. That one's so much bigger than the last one. That's like an asteroid it hitting literally, Earth. If they, if they blew it up at that exact spot, then that thing is forming its own island. Like it's going to break off from planet Earth and float that would into cause space probably. A tsunami probably that would hit everywhere else. Okay, at this point, it's all just Russia and USA. Bomb. This one's another that, this USA is the one. This is the scariest sounding one. I mean, it's yeah, a thermonuclear bomb. We made bomb. more nukes than <gasps> ever created before during the Cold War. Why do we have so many nukes? For combat. You know what's funny? Wait, what? I mean, I guess it's not funny. Almost accidentally, accidentally detonated. detonated. De 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 detonated. How? The US has made like thousands of nuclear bombs and then we banned anyone else from making any bombs. Smart. It's pretty America. funny. It's like literally just changing the rules because you can. Wow, this yeah. is the first one not from the USA. This is from China. China uh, currently owns this. And this one's going to be bigger. And they're about anyway. to prop it on the US bank tower. Bro, my whole screen yeah. just turned white because of how big that explosion literally, is. Literally, literally. That's the entire state of California. I wonder if it would cause like an earthquake. Oh, it 100%. might. It, it, it would you have think it to. Would? Look at how far that spans. Yeah, that look at the. That is insane. That is one big divot. Oh my gosh. And that was only an ICBM. That wasn't even technically a nuke, I don't think. That looked like dusty divot. These are just large bombs. These aren't even nukes. Yeah, oh, yeah. This, this is, is a thermonuclear thermo bomb. They're, they're, they they oh. have to be nukes. That means that oh. it literally sets the air on fire immediately. Oh! Oh! That is so much fun. Did you guys know in North Korea they have fake cities? It'd be fun to test a bomb in a fake city just to see what it would look like after. They have, <laughs> they have built Nobody entire cities there? that no... Alec, you're like Sid from Toy Story. You're literally just like probably killing stuff for fun. Yeah, what? what? You probably well, stop on like Sid. It's also stupid. Well, knowing that nobody lives there, it'd be fun to like just blow it all up. You fun? Know? It would be fun. People spent years yes. and years building that. And you wanted to yeah. destroy it for Whoa. fun. Well, yeah, it'd be, it'd be, it would be fun. I would watch. I would blow up your PC setup. You had to rebuild it for fun. Whoa. Yeah, that would be fun. That was the first ever hydrogen bomb. 
Nobody's oh, ever used the mean? hydrogen Who bomb. Who invented before? the hydrogen bomb? I think Probably Einstein did. Really smart. Or Oppenheimer. No, Oppenheimer didn't. I think he knew about it, but he didn't want to say anything. Oh my gosh. Wow. Is this London again? What is this London one? is getting destroyed. Who owns, oh my. Who owns this? Too much power. Nobody needs that much power. So I think we're at the point now where none of these have been uh, bomb tested. That has Largest been bomb tested. Oh. This has been exploded? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Castle Bravo. Oh my gosh. Where? I'm telling you, bro. They Where just, is there that much empty space? In the ocean, you dummy. I said that. Ocean in the ocean. They just kill a bunch wow. of fish. Wow. GG's. Imagine you're a fish. Oh, gosh. I'd hate, I, I'd That's like the, hate that. This is why I'm glad I don't live in New York. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at, you the, see that? Look at the smoke cloud. Dude, there's like a mini volcano next to it. Oh, that's the little boy explosion. Yeah, yeah that's the little oh, boy. Just for comparison. Wow. Look at how much that, bigger that is. That is why nuclear missiles and bombs are banned, because that. I'm pretty I sure think, the, the little boy killed like, what, 400,000 people? Something crazy? Too many people. Yeah, I thought it was like 200. Look at how small that something. is. Like, that's how it destructive even it can be possible. get. That's not even the biggest one. Wow. That's probably like 100 times stronger than the little boy. Oh my gosh, at least. We should also build a bunker, guys. This is crazy. Oh my. Whoa. Wow. Bro, what even dude, is that? Signals to space. I'm scared. Oh gosh, oh gosh. And dude, if this is the technology that we have, imagine what aliens- No, oh, this one's owned by Russia. Nah. The SAR bomb? No, our stadium. This thing is insane. Our stadium. Oh my wow. God. You know what's crazy too, guys? These are only the bombs that we know about. Like, what if they just don't disclose some of the new technology that they came out with? There's and maybe they have secrets. even crazier. Yeah, they definitely know some stuff that they haven't released. Yeah. There's so totally these bombs secrets. are the biggest that we only we know There's of. There's always secrets. This is scary, bro. This that. is scary. I kind of hope that they keep it a secret. I'm pretty scared. I want to see the I'm little terrified. boy next to this thing just to see the comparison. Oh, we get it. You want to see little boys? Just go stand next no, to it, no, Adam. No. You little boy. Oh, oh my. That has four different bomb clouds. It ha dude, it has like its own that is so ring powerful. system. That would blow up a third of America. All nuclear bombs at once. This one's owned by North Korea? Whoa. Oh, wait, whoa, this whoa. is every single oh bomb at once. Okay. Oh. See, I told oh. you this happens, Adam. Look, look at the little boy. Oh, oh my gosh. It. That's a thousand times bigger, at least. So I'm pretty oh. sure I watched the video saying that if we did that, the world ends. We literally oh, yeah. like just from the radiation immediately. I, I oh, honestly, yeah. I honestly thought it'd be a tiny bit bigger because it's like every nuke in the world. Adam, a tiny bit bigger. That is literally the size of all five Great Lakes. That's true. But like the world's a lot bigger than just that. I know, true. but the the is, mushroom is the cloud would literally cause our atmosphere to just. Boom, it's, it's gone. Are you serious? We would all die. You're crazy. We I'm would like, all die. Okay, okay but guys, what I'm would happen you. if this dropped on New York City? I really City don't know, and I, I'm kind of interested to see what would happen. See, I'm not the only one to say that. Oh, well, lucky we're about for to you. find out. We have it right now. Okay, so this is if Little Boy hit New York City right now. Well, we know what it did we're to We're going to go through every bomb again on New York City. I can't imagine it's wow. going to do anything good in New York City. Wait, wow. that's actually not as bad wow. as I thought. No, think about it though, I mean, right? In New York City, there's like, what, three to six million people that live there? I think more. Yes. I think it's like 10 million. Even that. So even if it, if it blows all those people up, that could be millions of people just in that it small space. It is going space. to be millions of people. Yeah, it will. That's why we can't that's let this crazy. ever happen. We have to get rid of all of the nukes. What do you even do? 8. You just send it to space? Million people. Yeah. Can we use that for energy and power to fuel our rocket ships? 15% of survivors will eventually die. Oh my god. Well, that's this how is the it works. Oh, the, the radius. The spread is the radiation. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, the radiation is what really, really gets you. the problem of nuclear weapons. I said that so early, guys. I'm like a genius. I really am. That's just a little boy. That's the smallest bomb. Yup. Just wait till they release Big Boy. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. oh god. Look at how far they have to zoom out. This is the tow pole. Bro, bro. Okay, New York City's Whoa! done if that drops. Blinds the eyes for a few hours. A sun. Wind is faster than the speed of sound. 5,000 degrees Celsius what? explosions. Holy smokes. That'd be so creepy. The wind is going faster than the speed of sound. You would feel the wind and not hear it. You're safe if you're That'd underwater, be creepy, right? You if you're just like a couple feet underwater. Oh my gosh. The star bomb. New York no. is gone. No. No. That literally just took out the whole eastern stratosphere. That might it's hit. Gone. That might hit all the way. Fireball over radius of six point one kilometers. And yeah, New Jersey's gone. I think the entire state. The city of, New of gone. brotherly explosions. Look at that! Look at how far it spreads. Wow, that went all the way up to Maine. Stop yeah, that, zooming that out. Philly. Three, Three days. days. Six, that's six. from that little bomb. That much radiation. Yep. It causes I'm sickness sure and nausea. That's a hydrogen bomb. That's why hydrogen bombs are so deadly. Cancer. Wow. That causes. 
And this is a clip of the largest tested nuclear bomb. Is this, this a real clip? That's a real is bomb? Real life? Is taken from 85 miles away. Oh. 85 the miles? The blast oh radius my was 4.5 miles in diameter. That's a real bomb. This is real footage of there's the largest wind, ever tested nuke. There, there's those wind tunnel things, those circles. Yep. They're in the clouds, by the way, if you guys couldn't tell. That is above, above the, the clouds. That is above, above the, the clouds. clouds. This is the only way for it to be safe. They're in the middle of the ocean, and apparently it was a disaster. They didn't realize how big it was going to be. Yeah, that's huge. Don't they still get hit with the radiation? It's Supposedly coming. they're far enough away, but I feel it's like you can never way. be far enough. 85 miles away and it's that big. That's like yep. looking at the sun. Oh my. It looks like it's moving in slow-mo, but I'm sure it's moving so fast. Just so far that it looks like it's moving slow. Whoa. Yeah, this was their first ever test of a fusion bomb. That better be their last. It was. It looks like a giant jellyfish. Wow. Whoa. Is that that's, the sound? That's scary, bro. Or maybe the sound didn't even hit them yet. I don't know. Like they could be in a helicopter. And that's to travel 85 miles to yeah. get them. This was back in like 1950. That's what I'm saying. Like technology is so crazy now. That was so long ago. Imagine what we what we can make today. That is oh my, I'm not sleeping insane. tonight. Oh, wow, dude. That is the biggest explosion I've seen since this morning when I blew up my toilet. The only thing scarier than that is if asteroids would hit the Earth. I can't even imagine what that would be like. for you guys would you ever travel into the future if you could definitely no i travel into the past alec if you could travel into the future how far would you go probably like uh, 300 years how about a billion years no, no i wouldn't way. No, that's, I wouldn't. that's scary. scary i always wanted to know what would happen a billion years in the future and we're gonna find out one million years in the future one billion would years all of the oceans have evaporated or would it have become one giant no. water world? No way. No. Okay, now, what about one billion years? No. I could survive that. Would no. there be any humans left? It's all robots. Of course. I don't think or so, bro. There's would no they way. Have settled in other parts oh, of the galaxy. Elon Musk. Nah. On the moon. This that was the moon. What if? And here's what would happen. If you traveled one billion years Oh my years gosh. Into oh the future, my god. I'm okay, crazy. guys, guys. What are your predictions? What's going to happen a billion years in the future? I think that civilization is going to be destroyed, bro. There's too much technology. There's too many, like, nuclear things going on. At one point, someone is going to get their hands on something crazy and skadoosh. Alec, we are the smartest. We are the best. We are, like, pretty much like a parasite that'll never go away. Well, maybe some people will survive, but maybe it'll only be a couple. We're going to go back in the past and have like no technology eventually and it's all just gonna build back up and then crumble down it's all gonna be ai we're gonna all be robots with our brains or consciousness inside of robots it's over it's ggs i put myself inside of a robot if i could let's face it the chances of any humans being around to greet you when you arrive one billion years into the future zero are pretty low no come on very low you're gonna be the only Several person alive key existential threats face the human race like what if we want to be around the sonic robots we'll need to That's endure not, them all. at least for five billion years we've seen how much we've struggled to come together just to survive a global Nukes. pandemic so how do we have any chance of enduring the threats of climate change overpopulation yep. global nuclear yep. war killer asteroids and comets natural ice ages That's and this is scary getting me. a whole lot this hotter. is scaring me well, this is scaring let's me. Let's take a look into the future and okay. find out. No, guys, okay, I don't okay, like this. Fine, I don't Alex, like this. Fine. We're only Just going 10,000 10, years. Uh, years from now. We're going to run into a big problem called the Deca Millennium Bug. I have no idea what that no! is. In the year 10,000 AD, software encoding the AD calendar year won't encode dates with more than four decimals. Really? Remember Y2K? Yeah, it's just like that. Except, hopefully, no. we won't panic as much this time around. What are we gonna do? Ah, we'll be fine. Side, in 10,000 oh. years, genetic differences and traits between humans will no longer be regional. Traits oh, like wow. skin and hair color will be evenly distributed around the world. Huh. Maybe that will help us all get along. No! There's gonna be no more gingers! I didn't see one person with red hair! Alec, I'm so <laughs> they sorry. Yeah, I like the picture of you. Except I think they're going hair. extinct, Alec. They they're gonna go extinct the next 20 years. Ah! Alec, once you go bald, way, Alec, ah! it's over. The only way you don't become extinct, you need to become like the Jesus of gingers, okay? You need to get you and all the other gingers, and you gotta go on a little ginger island, and you guys just gotta do your thing there forever. Why? My people! I'm so sorry, Alec. If anything, 
anything, just think of yourself as a rare breed. Fine, yeah, you guys are normies. Everyone looks like you guys. I'm like cool and look different. Exactly. See, they're gonna look back on you in the history books and they're gonna be like, that guy is extinct. He was so cool. His legacy on that Siren channel, that was insane. Oh, that, yeah. They're gonna do Harvard studies about you, Alex. Do you guys know like the elephant man? I'm gonna be like the new elephant man. Possibly a hippo or elephant man. Finally. 20,000 years into the future? Oh, here we go. None of the current languages will be recognizable. Huh? Future languages will only contain 1% of the core vocabulary what? words of their present day counterparts. How do they know that? 50,000 years from stuff. now will mark a new glacial period for the Earth, which will start a new ice age. Oh I thought my global gosh. was warming. The globe okay, is warming, right. I thought. Are we surviving an ice age? I thought the globe is warming. How is it going to be an ice age? Well, it's probably warming, and then it'll get really cold. Yep. Oh, that's a good thought. It's called climate change, dummy. It's changing. Yeah, it it's not up, just going to always be hot. It goes up and down, Alex. Yeah, like but people warm. keep saying it's going to get too hot for civilization, and that we need to stop it from getting hot. But he's, he's saying, like, the first bad thing that's going to happen is it's going to get Cold. This is 50,000 years into the future, Alec. Not tomorrow. Ah, use your brain, you ginger. Gura Falls will There's have a reason why it goes extinct. into Lake Erie completely. And interestingly, a full day on Earth will also increase by one second at this point in time. Okay, so who cares about that? For activities. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, boy. In 200,000 oh, yeah. years, wow. the Oihi volcano will rise thing just above exploded. the water to form a new island yeah. in Hawaii. Okay, cool. Oh, sweet. Ooh. And in 500,000 years... Shout out Hawaii. We should go there when that shout happens. Shout out Hawaii, Asteroid bro. Asteroid with a diameter greater than one kilometer will hit Earth. Unless what? we can prevent How do they know? It. How do they know? It's probably heading towards us right now. Yeah, it is coming re immediately right now. Can't they see no, the wait. telescope light years away? They you know can't. What they no, do? no, but I'm pretty sure because they can track asteroids pretty much like to a T. And a lot of asteroids these days, they'll like come close to Earth and they'll pass us, right? But then every year they get a little bit closer yep. and a little bit closer because they're coming around the sun. They're all circling, circling the us and they're going to corner us. And then if we don't do anything, if we don't get a giant laser or we, if we maybe send all of our gingers and we shoot them at it to block it... <laughs> It's the only way we can stop it. Adam, don't <laughs> laugh at that. Because now he's going to do it again and again. You can't egg him on. Just also, it, bro. there needs to be a mass extinction event. All we have to do is build one super giant mega fan that blows out into the you know, outer space. So that whenever anything's coming our way, just <laughs> blow it away. <laughs> you want to get blown? By some fans. The resulting crater will be no less than 400 <laughs> kilometers across. Oh, See, one my giant gosh. fan will blow that away. Just think of a giant fan. Unbreathable. Exploded everywhere. That's so like my toilet after Chipotle. To can confirm. And in case that's not Don't enough, ask me why, but I can in confirm. In one million it's years, a million. we'll likely have another super volcano eruption. Yes! Large enough to still assuming people this? are alive here. So there's a super volcano in Yellowstone, right? That a lot of people are scared of? I'm not scared yep. of it. I'll, I'll jump in right now. So if that ever explodes, I'm pretty sure, like, everything's gonna die. Well, Jack, no, this is a million dead. years in the future. No. You're already gonna be dead. I'm sorry. I know, but, like, let's say that I'm not. Let's say in 50 years they figure out how to upload our consciousness to a robot. I'll live forever. No, your consciousness will. You'll be dead. If you had the ability to upload your consciousness to a robot, would you do it? That's not you. Don't do that. For real. Let him. Let him talk. Okay, hear me out. Do I have to then, do, like, is my body now gone, or can I just, like, copy and paste my consciousness into a robot? So it's like a clone. Yeah, that is it's exactly like a clone, me. But it's oh, not yeah, really no, 100%. you. 100%. As long as I don't die, I'd be Wait, okay with what? that. But you would just keep, like, cloning yourself, essentially. Yeah, no, I'd make a million to me. You have 3,200 cubic right. kilometers of ash. It would produce enough lava to fill 75% of the Grand Canyon. Oh, my gosh. This would be similar to the Toba eruption that almost wiped out humanity 70,000 right, years ago. Almost, almost. But like oh, Jack said, we are the parasites. We can't star die. Beetlejuice will have exploded into Beetlejuice? a supernova by this time. There's a star called Beetlejuice? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's Making awesome. Making it visible from Earth even during the daytime. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Here we go. We're going in two million, million years in the future. Humanity Let him talk, Adam. Settlements throughout the solar system. This For real? also means that if populations oh on different oh, that looks like planets have remained like separate, Whoa! humans That's may sick. have evolved into other species Whoa! adapted to wow. this specific world.
think that that's how it works in Star Wars? Do you guys think that like Star Wars is so far in the future that like everybody in Star Wars, all the aliens, Jar Jar Binks, Yoda, they're just like evolved humans? No, that could be. Wait. They just adapt to like whatever planet they live on. That was not an evolved human. Change and change and change. At some point, someone did some with a fish. Maybe the fish evolved, and then we had fish babies. Or that person just ate way too much blue dye. That's true. It happens with flamingos and shrimp. So why can't yeah. it happen with us? Exactly. Sometimes I poop green. It's gonna be okay, Adam. But it is very cool to think that if we do survive millions and then maybe a billion years in the future, we're gonna be so evolved to the point where we're not gonna look anything like we do today. I hope not, for your your own sake. I think you're evolving, guys. We're evolving. Guys. This is a form of evolution. I, this is the future. You... Look at it. <laughs> this is all your futures. Sorry, guys. I'm just in trying to be really million years. A huge part of Eastern Africa oh my gosh. will break off. Forming a new Pangea! ocean base. What about in Madagascar? Million years, oh my gosh! Oh, yeah. Africa will collide Whoa. with Eurasia, closing off the Mediterranean That's pretty Sea. Pretty cool. <laughs> and and what is Eurasia? Mountain range will form <laughs> Europe and Asia. Land masses. This mountain range may include a mountain taller than Mount Everest. Wow. So isn't that insane that like what we're watching right now, that's going to happen over like millions of years, probably. Yeah. The tectonic plates only move like an inch a year or something. So it'll take millions of years for them to. That's what happened with Mount Everest. Crazy big. So it, it's already happened before. Mount Everest is still growing like a millimeter a year or something. Yeah. But like every simulation that we always watch of like, oh, the tectonic plates are going to cause all this chaos. It's like, how could that happen when they're moving so slow? True. It's like, it's like two bowling balls going at one little tiny centimeter per second. Just. Out in space, Mars will collide with its moon. Phobos. Resulting oh, in it GG's developing Nash. a ring system like Saturn. Oh, cool. I like that. That would be sweet. I wish we had a ring. That'd be awesome. In 60 million yeah, years, I, I wish we had a ring system too. The Canadian too. and American Rockies will have eroded entirely. Hey. Wow. Dude, they're like melting. Years, all Hawaiian islands will be below the no. water. No. No, bye bye Hawaii. Not That's Hawaii. actually kind of a really long time, though. 80 million years for them to sink? I thought it would be way sooner. I feel like at that point they could figure out a way to survive. It's called a boat, Alec. Yeah, make a raft <laughs> or something. Well, not even that. Couldn't they just like build out the island get to just like bring a bunch of rocks? And All right, keep Hawaii. You have 80 million years to prepare. Build boats. Build lots of them. Good luck. Put, is put Adam in charge. Good luck, soldiers. I'm on my way. Adam's in charge of the boats. None of them. What if I just start freaking out in Hawaii? They will all sink. But like, guys, we gotta prepare. <laughs> We're sinking. Ah, it's going down one millimeter a year. You just start whispering in trip. everyone's ear. I'm gonna die. <laughs> you know how to swim. <laughs> sure, you're gonna need this soon. An asteroid similar to the one that killed the dinosaurs 66 no. years ago will likely hit Earth. Shoot, one that is 10 kilometers <laughs> wide. It. I can't believe In that. 250, 250 million, million. Years, all of Earth's continents will be fused together like Pangea. Nice. I like this that. Yeah. Now, we need to stop it now. Pangea Ultima. That but is how world peace happens, bro. Because wow. In 400 to 500 million years, Pangea Ultima will separate again. Aww. Ah, can't ever stay together, can it? No. Just when you think it's together, they break up. Well, it's just like my It's parents. just like on Christmas time. In 500 to 600 million years, oh. <laughs> a gamma yeah. ray burst will likely occur within 6,500 years. Yo, what years is this? Earth. An alien invasion? <laughs> wait, wait, <laughs> wait. <laughs> Whoa, we just got blasted. First off, who is saying that this is going to happen? Second off, what did we just get hit with? <laughs> An alien plasma beam. Oh, no. I think that was Ultron, bro. Dude, we just got absolutely This is on. when the Avengers takes place. Yeah. <laughs> like, how do we defend against that? Let alone global warming. Wait, play that again. Need a giant here. I believe in, in Elon Musk, bro. He will save us. Million years, we just need a couple a cyber gamma trucks. Ray burst will likely occur a, within a gamma ray burst? Light years from a gamma ray burst? I think that happens when, like, black holes explode. They just release insane amount of energy. And if we're in the crossfire, boom. A quasar. A quasar, that's the word for it. Yeah, just like... Pew. Just like shoot That's what I'm partially scared of. Like, how do we know if there's a black hole that just randomly explodes and then we're, we get caught in the crossfire and GG's, it's over. And, and blink uh, of an it's eye. It's probably not going to happen in our lifetime, Alec. If we upload our AI or consciousness to AI, it will happen in our lifetime, Adam. No. Do you think that's going to happen, Jack? Like, realistically, you think that'll happen? They're already working on it. You ever hear of Neuralink? Yes. I cannot wait to be uploaded and I'm a robot and I could just do anything ever. Dude, it is imagine, scary. Imagine just being a robot. You don't have to worry about pain. You don't got to worry about anything. But then are you really? Really living? Exactly. That's a whole new video. Are you still even alive? From Earth. If it strikes Earth, it could damage the ozone layer and trigger a mass extinction. Six hundred million years Come from on. now, Team Earth. the moon will be so far from Earth that 
total solar eclipses will no longer be possible. No. That's okay by me. And the sun's That's increasing it? luminosity will have raised temperatures oh. on Earth so much oh that my it gosh. Could help plate oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I don't like this. That looks in scary. Million okay. years. Can we stop going into the Carbon future? I think we should stop. Drop dramatically and photosynthesis. Everything is dying. Will no longer be possible. Jack, remember what? when you said you wanted to do go here? You would die. Okay, okay. Wait, photosynthesis would be possible? W wouldn't they just wouldn't we just evolve? Wouldn't we just evolve over time if it's if it's happening really, really slow? Didn't Darwin say that we'll we'll adapt to our environment? So we'll just get used to the sun. We'll just be able to reflect it. Maybe we'll turn like into mirrors. There's no adapting to this, Jack. This is an end game. No, this is it. Boys, it's been a pleasure. You think MBB will still be around? It will always be around. Guys, if you're watching this in the year 600 million AD, Make sure you guys smash like for us, okay? Free oxygen and ozone will disappear from the atmosphere, and complex life on Earth will die. What about Adam? Adam could survive and that finally, then, right? In I think so. I'm not complex. Years, the sun's luminosity will have increased by 10%. Oh, no. And the average temperature on Earth oh, no. will be 47 degrees Celsius. Oh, my gosh. Our atmosphere what is will that? feel like in a damn That's boiling. And our oceans it's pretty will high. Evaporate. That's probably like a hundred. Yeah, look, just thirty. Pockets of water at each of the poles. No. There's no water left. This is what happened to Mars. Yes, exactly. That's true. There used to be water on Mars, and then it all evaporated. Oh no, it all froze. We turned into Mars. <laughs> Did it freeze or right evaporate? I don't machine, remember. It all froze. prepared to take in a planet Earth that looks nothing like the that one you remember. Not look happy, oh, right? that's scary, bro. I don't want to so see that. So ice will be gone. Hopefully living its best life on some other far off planet. That's where I'm going to live. Or we'll That'd be on the moon. Intense dude. heat, lack of water, Ooh, and we would still be breathable air. Do you guys think if we did make it to another planet, we would still make YouTube videos? I like um, there's a vlog there. React to Z Arcade <laughs> from yeah. Moon. Yeah, probably. What a, I got <gasps> more guys, imagine golf on the moon. Gravity's going to be so much be different. Sick. That ball's going to fly. You probably Let's get it 40 do it. yards. Imagine that YouTube video. Oh, we got to make it happen, guys. Come on. Okay. Five likes and we'll do it, guys. Come on. Let's go. Earth will be uninhabitable. No. No. So you probably shouldn't stay too long. What is this, in a billion Instead, years? You should head out to yeah. see the rest of the solar system. Maybe you'll find your fellow humans there. Or some other oh, intelligent life. Oh. But that's a story for another what if. Wait, but what would happen if the sun exploded? suck everything in its vicinity. They can suck up light, they can suck up gravity, they can suck up planets, they can even suck up Adam. So what would happen if a black hole sucked up the Earth? Yo, ew! No, I don't like that. I don't like this that's actually scaring me. That is terrifying. Gibber, gibber. That looks way too real. That looks why, way it, too real. It's making me want to poop. Could a black hole devour us all one day? Yes. I don't think so. There are millions of them out there just waiting. For and what? If we happened to make a black hole well, no. accidentally, accidentally, how? Well, you better fast. People try to make black holes. I'm out pretty of. sure people are crazy. To Actually, make a black hole, you just yes. have to have a bunch of mass in a very condensed area. So, and like, so it's kind of like when I fart, kind of well, like no. your butt. Yeah, when you fart, it's a lot of mass and a lot of energy. These are really going to suck. <laughs> Literally, sign me up. Yeah. We, what would we see yeah, if so we got a giant pulled tornado. into a black hole? You can't see anything in there. It sucks up light. Orbit the sun and a well, black so hole? The sun is orbiting a black and hole. Would we survive spaghettification? If that's anything like spaghetti and meatballs, this I'll survive. This is what if, and here's what no would happen it actually does that. if Earth were sucked into a black hole. No way. I actually kind of want Just to see what 3, would happen. 3,000 light years no, from not. Earth is a black hole visible to the naked eye. Thankfully, we're a safe distance from this stellar we're moving, moving really fast. Many others what? Like it. At the center there of our galaxy. approximately 100 really? million yes. of them. Adam, at the center of every single galaxy is a black hole. Is that what keeps it in orbit? Exactly. It's what Adam. keeps all the stars and all the things in orbit. Put your arms down right now. You got two <laughs> black holes <laughs> forming right now. Alec has his own gravitational orbit. Clearly. I do. Out there in our galaxy that we know of. They are wow. remnants of supernovae, which occur when stars Explode. 10 to 20 times wow. larger than our sun That's collapse in on themselves. Yes. 
stellar <laughs> black holes said. are fairly common. He said thing. that they explode. They, they collapse into them, <laughs> explode. Did you guys know, I watched a really cool video about this, that there was actually a star so big that it formed a black hole inside of itself, but the star didn't get sucked up. It was just constantly feeding on the star for billions of years. It was the biggest star to ever exist. That's the biggest parasite ever. That's the, the biggest theory I've ever heard. It's I, insane. I, I feel like someone I just made that up. I need about that. I don't understand how light escapes or can't escape a black hole. Like light isn't even real. Like it's not even physical. Well, it's kind of like air. Like when you suck up air, you don't know how you're sucking it up. You're just sucking. No, no, no. Because air is like physical thing, but like light is just like, it's just light, you know? But the, the gravitation is so strong that it just, it can pull the light back. So even light has mass. Does it? I think so. Light yeah. has mass. In kilometers in diameter. And then there's the much larger competition. Supermassive black holes. Yeah. These Uranus. have a diameter Yo, roughly the size of I've our seen a couple solar super system massive black holes and a mass life. greater than one that. million suns No, no, not combined. like on TV and stuff. One of them, known as Sagittarius A, is right smack dab in the middle of our galaxy. How do they get that good quality images of these so things? That's crazy how that they travel How close with. would a black yeah, hole need to be that, shout out to, to be a danger to us? Well, technically, a black hole the size of a one millimeter pin could destroy us if really? it was nah. close enough to Earth. Ow. Due to its incredibly Whoa. dense mass and extreme gravitational it would just start pull. That Harry Our survival Potter? all depends on whether That's we've crazy. surpassed the what event the horizon or not. That is so much You suckage. can think of this as the black hole's point of no return. Oh, wow. Anything beyond this point would have to travel faster so, than light to escape. So you can get close yeah, to the black hole, that. you just you shouldn't go into the black if hole. If Earth got close enough, the side nearest to the black hole would begin stretching toward Whoa. it. Our atmosphere would start to be vacuumed up, Whoa. and then huge chunks That's of the Earth insane. would break like the apart scene from and Avengers. follow suit. Guys, I don't like this. I so, really don't like yeah, this. It's, it's, I it's really, this is really making so there's me not want to. There's literally nothing that could survive a black hole. Like even if you made like the most protected titanium steel bunker, it would still get spaghettified by the black hole. Theoretically, I don't like this. That's what you're telling me. I can't believe that. Theoretically, literally, I can't believe that. I just I if don't want Earth to. managed to fall into the orbit of the black hole, we'd experience tidal heating. What? The strong, Ooh. uneven gravitational pull on Earth Whoa. would continuously Ugh. deform the planet. That might be even worse. This would generate. Oh my gosh, that's probably what happened to Adam's face. He has a black hole in the middle of his body, and that's where all of the brain cells went. That's why he's so deformed. It makes so much sense oh. now. And then every time Adam's near Alec, he, he's just sucking up some of the hairs, and they just keep coming out. Alec, can you take off your glasses for me? That's the only way he can see Adam. He's blind without them. You know how in movies when like girls take off their glasses and they're really beautiful? Mm -hmm. Did you just you remember that because you saw me do it? I just saw you do it and I thought that there's no way that it could ever be the opposite until today. We would never do that again. <laughs> this amount of internal friction heating the Earth's core to disastrous levels. It would likely give rise to earthquakes, volcanoes, and deadly tsunamis. That's a big boy wave. The trifecta of doom. Doom? Eventually, kind of Earth would begin to stretch in a process known as spaghettification. <laughs> so and funny. Not in the tasty, tomatoey way. I think you would be dead. Let's say you were a superhero and decided to fight the black hole head first. Yeah. Yeah, let's well, do it. your arms would be closer than your feet, causing your huh? body oh. to stretch out vertically and become <sighs> more and more Adam's compressed. Adam's belly would go first. Let's <laughs> hope your superpower is elasticity. What a weird dance move. For an move. average sized <laughs> stellar black hole, spaghettification can occur several hundred kilometers Whoa. away from the event wow. horizon. Okay, that's kind of creepy. But for a supermassive black hole, physicists believe that this would happen inside the event horizon oh, due okay. to its size. Do you think we could Eventually, survive it? No matter what size it is, Anything Ew, entering it's like the black invisible. hole. That's yeah. crazy. You, you technically can't see the black hole, you can only see the things around it. Yeah, it is dark. This would happen to anything that crosses it. People, planets, stars, you name it. Mom, that's scary. Unfortunately, <laughs> our whole solar funny. system would be doomed. Ew. The careful back- It looks like it's warping like all of space as it travels through. Ew, it's that looks it is like kind of neat. It looks cool. It looks like when I drain the tub and then there's like a, a 
little screw. Oh, yeah, that little spin yeah. thing. But if you did that in complete darkness, that's exactly what it looks like. Yes. It's like a drain into oh, another universe, so maybe. The sun and yeah. the go. planets. It's collapse, distorting everything which that's could around send it. them crashing into one another. I wonder and if that's how you add insult to injury. Our we'll asteroid never belt would get Nothing sucked can ever towards. Survive. We might know. We might know. About 200 How do we survive of the 552,894 oh, asteroids we know of are more than 100 kilometers across. So, if one hits us, we'd be dead before we would turn into spaghetti. <laughs> Frankly, I'm not sure which fate would be worse. All of the matter in our solar system would join the accretion disk around the black hole. Okay. As matter gets sucked okay. into the black hole, right. it generates massive amounts of radiation. So Jeez. even if we somehow survived all the asteroids, we'd wow. likely die so, from the radiation. Yeah, so nothing can actually survive going through the black hole. So I I'm never curious. expected to survive that. Yeah, but what do you guys think comes out on the other side? Because it all gets turned into, like, spaghetti, but once it comes out the other side, do you think it's still spaghetti, or do you think it gets, like, put back together, or what? I mean the other side? There's no other side. Like, well, a lot of people think that it's, like, a wormhole to something else, or, like, a portal. Huh? It's like a new dimension? A portal yeah, to where? Yeah, exactly. Either to a different time, or a different place, or anything. Well, so what do you think it, happens What if it's just, like, side? a super magnet, and then it's like it's just sucking everything in and then you get squished like a bug in it. You know what I'm saying? It just, it is mass. Just a bunch of like particles come out the other side. There is no other side. It just is. What do you mean? Like it, it just, is just a bunch of particles. But there is That is just well, sucking I'm everything saying, towards well, it. I'm saying, let's imagine that it is a wormhole and there is another side. Do you think that it gets put back together again on the other side or no? No. Whoa. I think it all just gets psh, discombobulated and then spat out on the other side in a bunch of billion, jillion particles individually. So it's kind of like when you eat a cheeseburger, it's in like a nice, you know, it's got the patty, it's got the cheese, it's got the bun, it's got the well, you don't put greens on it, but other stuff. And then it comes out all just like combobulated Mush. together. Like your stomach Yo, that's is a, a black theory. hole. Normally liquidy. So yeah. the black hole are our mouths. Yeah. Specifically and the universe Adam. is eating itself. Well, more like the butthole, right? Because it, it comes in one way and then it comes out a different way. Do you think the universe, I mean, you think the black hole is is like living? What if there's a universe inside the black and, hole? And it's got and a we're actually it's got inside a of a black hole. Oh my gosh. We gotta call up the science journal. Believe it or not, astronomers yes. have discovered rare circumbinary planets circumbinary that orbit guys. two stars. Oh. Well, this may That's be a possibility with a, a black hole and our sun. That's a quasar. The extreme tidal forces would likely make our planet uninhabitable. And worse yet, we might get kicked out of orbit or no. swallowed by the we sun that or the black hole eventually. Sorry, but there's not an outcome where we win here. Really? But, and this is a big but, maybe we could find a way to protect ourselves That's what I was saying. in some hyper-reinforced space shuttle. Hyper-reinforced space shuttle. If we somehow yeah. made it past the event horizon, we might be in for an even stranger time. Yeah, it's like interstellar. Physics as we know it would change. Mm -hmm. Things like gravity, the mm -hmm. speed of light, mm -hmm. and even how atoms bind uh -huh. react may be completely different. The truth is, we don't know what would happen. We can't get any information out of a black hole. Would we get pulled into another dimension? End up in a parallel universe? I wonder if your Wi-Fi connection was Maybe work. we're already inside a black hole. What we do know, however, is that that's a story for another. Huh. Okay. What if? That's yeah, crazy. That's good oh because my, my brain gosh. could not handle any more information. You left today. me with more questions than when I started. That's how science works, Adam. I'm confused. What would a journey to the black hole look like? I think it would be pretty dark. Well, today we're gonna find out. Two. So they're starting one, on Earth and they're gonna travel star. all the way into the black hole. And then we're gonna find out what happens when you actually get wow. inside of a black hole. The Earth is growing. This is basically what Elon Musk wants second. to do. Oh yeah. It seems like no time has passed, but our spacecraft is already 200 miles above the surface of our planet. I can clearly see the Great Wait, Lakes. Wait, what? I thought the Earth was flat. And oh boy, shut up! I just oh, found something shut moving up. to the left of my ship. <laughs> so Could it be? <laughs> yeah. I'm like your forehead it's, the it's actually international very big. space station 
Did you know that okay. the station is the most expensive oh, single thanks. object in the world? Got you, Alec. Huh? No wonder. 100 with trillion? How, how big? No what is that number? $100 billion it took to make that thing. What does it even do? That's all of our tax money going to what? To nothing. Uh, Who no, cares? No, that, that, that controls all the satellite and the internet. Yeah, yeah I mean, the International Space the Station is pretty important for, like, yeah. you know, scientific research and how oh, things I don't know we need satellites for the internet. You do. Oh. 47s or two Louvres with all the paintings and artwork inside. Two Louvres. For my spacecraft. The ISS looks pretty big, but I shouldn't be surprised since the length of the station is over 350 feet, Whoa. which is more than the I length of a football field. I honestly thought it would be bigger. Yeah, but I don't yeah have for 100 a bill. That's not a black that hole. I thought it would be like me. the Death Star. Now I'm about 1,300 miles over the surface of the planet, and I start to spot satellites here and there. I've read that. So the entire circumference, the 8,000 miles. Did you guys know that? So we're that almost the entire cool. distance of the Earth. Yeah. One trip around the Earth is how far we're going up right now. Circumference. So in like two seconds he's already traveled from florida all the way to pa at a wow. satellite, there are low and high flyers and Nothing while the lowest flying like ones move approximately 1250 <laughs> miles away from earth which is the length of four and a half grand canyons the hey, highest or four and a half grand canyons out of sorry, miles into like space that. which almost equals the earth's circumference oh. measuring about <laughs> <laughs> adam what are you talking about i didn't think i'd get fat Checked here, man. I will never believe another thing this guy ever says. I don't even 8, think that 000. we should have. Yeah, that's oh not even anywhere God. close to 25,000. Did wow. he leave? Okay. He Adam, he just, leave. I said 8,000 for a third, guys. Don't be dumb. Adam, go read a book. Wait, the Earth's not flat? 5,000 miles. By the way, Stop. few people know that satellites travel <laughs> at a blinding speed. I swear I was saying something to the grass Tyson said. 18,000 miles per hour. Also, I did not know the that higher a satellite, satellite that is, the slower it moves, relatively speaking. That makes sense. For example, the weather tracking GO system of satellites orbits the Earth once a day at a distance of 22,000 miles above your head and oh. reaches a maximum speed of 7,000 miles per hour. It's kind of scary though, because like satellites, just like everything in space, they're like getting a little bit closer every time they go around. So eventually, they're gonna spiral into planet Earth. Is that not how it works? I no, don't think no, that's no, how it works. no. Do they have like thrusters that yeah. adjust them? Yeah, they have thrusters on them. Don't believe what I say. I don't know. I, I don't. Know. I don't I'm, know. But the orbit thing. I, why don't they just stay there forever? Like the moon. Like the moon's never gonna hit the planet. Just like we're slowly getting pulled to the center of the sun. Everything's slowly getting pulled to the grab to the bigger gravitational pull. The moon is gonna hit the Earth. Someday, are you kidding me? You know, well, the satellites we're talking are being about left behind. The circumference of Earth being 8,000 already taken miles. Liam and me toward the moon, Confidently. about 240,000 miles away from Earth. We're at the moon. It's the same distance you would go if you went around our planet 10 times in a row. See? From here, you got Earth that, Adam? looks like a small, bright blue <laughs> ball hanging in the middle of nowhere. And you know what wow. else? From my spacecraft, I can clearly see that the moon isn't a perfect sphere. It's shaped more like a... Uh, yeah, like an egg. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah. Moon, yeah. headed somewhere even Whoa, further. he's jumping up a lot here. Mm, I see Mars. Yo! That was Jupiter, whoa, whoa, whoa. Saturn, Jupiter, Saturn, wow. Uranus. What about Pluto? Oh, look, there's Pluto. There's Pluto right planet, there. But was I didn't know it was that far. From here, Earth looks like a small star that's getting fainter and fainter away? as I'm moving further. That is really far, and we're not even out of our solar system. That is 3 billion 500 million miles away. I don't wow. trust anything you say. I'm going to do the math It is 3 billion. It is 3.5 billion miles away. I'm back. Wow. I'm back, baby. <laughs> and Adam could barely even go one mile, let alone 3.5 billion. Yeah. 3 .5 I start billion. sweating when I run half a mile. But wait, what's that? Some object is approaching me at a high speed. Could it be Elon Musk. Tesla? Woo! Told you. That was close. The thing just avoided close. a collision at the last moment, and everything happened too fast to see it clearly. But I'm pretty sure what I just saw was a Tesla. Right now, huh? I'm already a really, Tesla? really far from joke, Earth, like 100 astronomical units away. The thing is that space distances what is, what is are that? so vast, you can't even calculate them in miles. Unit. That's why scientists oh. use the term astronomic unit, which equals 93 million that miles, for my the distance from the Sun to Earth. That means oh, okay. right now, that makes sense. I'm 9.3 billion miles away from our planet. But That's not that far. what's happening? Why is my spaceship You're talking about? We're out of the so solar much? system now. I see. We're entering the termination shock. 
the place where huh? solar winds coming from the sun travel at a speed of 250 miles per second and oh collide with the material that makes up the galaxy's background. How is there wind in outer space? It's not actual wind, Alec. There's no air. It's like the, the sun just like spewing out solar flares. The sun is like a giant ball of gas. Just imagine the sun farting. Nine billion years of miles outside of the sun? It's farting? Yes, it's farting and what? it goes really far. It's like you said, Alec, once it spits it out, there's no friction, so it just travels forever until it hits something. Almost forever. Wow, that's genius. Yeah, that's what I was saying. That's eventually it'll dissipate, but like, seriously, that is the most insane nuclear fart ever. Okay, then if the sun is farting and destroying 9 billion miles away, how is it not destroying the Earth? Because we have an we... atmosphere. We have an atmosphere that protects us. But what about planets without atmospheres? Like, Look like at Venus. the moon. Look at yeah. Mars. Yeah. They, yeah, they get burned alive. Get have you hit. seen Venus? The sun can't ah, burn us. there. We made it through unscathed. But there's another trial ahead. The Oort Cloud. What is that? that? Means two oh, things. What is that? First, we're on I'll the take this battle of the on, solar boys. system. And Good second, luck, Adam. we'll have to get through a cloud of icy objects orbiting the sun at a distance of 100,000 astronomic units. In other words, okay, the fact that the sun has a gravitational pull that far away is is crazy. When does the sun stop pulling things in? It's like it's Alex's okay. ex-girl. He's like, every time he tries to go away, she keeps reeling him back in. Doesn't he can go how all far the way he gets. to Africa. He's always he's a, he's back. could be on he's a different planet. And he looks on Instagram. New post. Uh, it's 1.87 <laughs> light years away from our star. Oh, hey, hey, hey oh, hey. <laughs> Is this so scary? Is it okay if I'm scared right now? Like, is it, is that okay for me to be scared? Uh, yeah. I'm scared of like the infinite abyss and the void of the universe and how and it just goes And we're not on even forever. at the end. We're not even close to the end of the universe. We haven't even hit a black hole yet. We're not even close to the end of our own galaxy in this video. Not even nope. close. We haven't even touched nope. it. And there's millions and trillions and billions and gazillions of other galaxies out there. And the Milky Way it galaxy is a tiny galaxy. The Andromeda galaxy is like three times the size of our galaxy. It's astronomical. <laughs> Whew, it must be my lucky day, since we got through the Oort cloud with just a couple of scratches on the spacecraft's skin. And voila! We're heading out of the solar system just one-tenth of a light year later. By the way, if you were trying to reach this point by car, the trip would mm -hmm. take you more than 19 million years. Oh, that's not bad. <laughs> and even if you yeah. piloted one of the fastest spacecraft that exists nowadays, NASA's New Horizons, you would still need 37,000 yeah. years to Nothing. complete the journey. That so is bring a, a big lot. Humans have only All been right. around for like, We've what? We've left the borders 20, of the solar system. And now, I'm sitting no, in my spaceship 3, cabin, watching comets 3, and asteroids pass by. Time to think about my destination. In the center of pretty much every galaxy, there's a supermassive black hole. I for said example, that! For example, one is sitting right at the heart of our Milky Way galaxy about 27,000 light years wow. away from and Earth. And it's sucking everything in. my it's ship the wouldn't be able to get that far universe. before my 100th wow. birthday. Well, at least our galaxy. Why my destination is the stellar I thought Alec was the biggest sucker Earth, in this one. And I guess smaller not. smaller in size. Only in your no house. less mysterious. It's in this V616 Mono Serratus, also known as V616 Mon. Wow. Located 3,000 light, light years time. away. Kind of and weighing the same as about 9 Whoa. to 13 oh, of our sun. Balls? What? A black hole is an eerie place where those laws of physics we studied at school stop working. If a massive star runs out of its star fuel, oh, it becomes scary. super dense and buckles under its own weight, that's scary. collapsing inward wow. and bringing space time along. That as a result, the gravitational so field of this new thing gets so strong that nothing can escape it, not even light. Right now, we're Light approaching the black hole, it. and very soon, I'll send Liam to explore it from the inside. Thank you for I your sacrifice, Liam. The horizon, Get in there, Liam. The point of no return. We'll write stories and about you. Can you can probably guess why, right? I don't know if I can watch. Once an object crosses this, this is what I imagine line, happens after I flush it through. back, even if it changed its mind. It goes down anyway, to nothing. Liam says he's ready to start his journey. Liam, no! Go, Liam. Bravely plunging toward the black Liam. hole while I'm recording love you, everything Liam. that's happening to him. He's we'll see you on the other side. It looks like he's contorting he's gonna and turn stretching, black. as if I'm looking through a huge magnifying glass. Interestingly, Whoa. the closer to the horizon he is, the more slowly he seems to move. He's, he's, he's trying to send me encoded light messages like we agreed to in advance, but the light waves stretch to redder and lower frequencies. Whoa. I'm okay. 
I'm okay. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't think, think he's, he's okay. okay. What's happening? Liam just froze as if a gigantic finger has he's pressed time the pause travel? button. And now I think he's some good. force is stretching him thinner and thinner. Ah, I've read about this phenomenon. It's the infamous spaghettification, what? which happens in a super hey, strong, non-homogeneous like gravitational field. The black hole's gravity hey, force is stronger at his feet than at his head. That's why he's getting stretched out like a piece of spaghetti. Also, the sensors inform me that Liam so is getting dead, hotter right? and hotter. Yeah, and then he might be in a different universe. He just disappeared. Yeah, Jack, and we I have no idea what happens when he's going the black hole. But since I did my research before the trip, I know that Liam is in the state of free fall now and feels oh. no more stretching, scalding radiation, or gravity. I think because he's dead. Unfortunately, <laughs> the connection is lost. He feels nothing and he can't anymore. tell me anything about the inside of the black hole. Hmm. This is a moment I didn't think through well enough. <laughs> this <kid>. Anyway, <laughs> I hope you're so okay. Travel the entire way and, and think I think through. I'll head home. We love you, Liam. For my next space trip. <laughs> he just ditched Liam in there. That was what wow, about you? Cool. Do you and think I should? Liam is gone. Liam is dead, and Liam is through the black hole to the other side. So I guess that's what the journey looks like to the center of Earth. That's scary. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I want to do that. I, yeah, that sounds kind of scary. But one day, people are gonna have to do that. People are gonna have to go through the black hole and see what it is on the other side. I volunteer as tribute. <laughs> What would happen to the planet if humans never existed? Let's find out. In just 300,000 years, humans have totally transformed our planet. This Let's is go. in some good ways. For oh, humans only existed for like 20,000 years. And also creating new technology and Steve ideas. Steve Jobs. But humans Ooh, also yeah, have Steve their Jobs. downsides. A lot they of do. damage has That's been true. done to wildlife and animals by humans. A lot of litter. But yeah. what if we never existed? And if we were never out. on this planet? See, how Alec, different bro, would the relax. world be? Oh and my gosh. Be I'm a bear. I'd still be here. Get ready to see just how much humans have affected planet Earth. If Ooh. humans never existed, of course, we would not be the dominant species. If no humans ever existed, then the dominant species would likely be the next thing after humans. Based on Which DNA, is... this would be chimpanzees. Wait, now, what? That would be yeah. false, right? It would be Wait, like what? a lion? Well, yeah, it would just be based on brute force strength, right? Like, what's the top the... of the food chain? Unpopular opinion. Ants. Ooh. Look into it, dude. Ants like dominate so much of the world. Ants it's crazy. They dominate, dominate right now, the bug humans. world, the insect world, but they don't dominate the actual world. Territorial on, wise, true, they own true. so much. Have you ever so heard much, of though. anteaters? Have you ever heard of anteaters? How are the ants going to kill Ooh, an anteater, Alex? That's true. Alec? That's true. They're, they're like vacuums for if ants. If they teamed up on, on it, they could brain, take them Alec. out. Use your brain. I double dog dare you to find any ant that could kill an ant eater. I'm gonna make a bold Same. claim. I think eagles would rule the world. They can fly. They have claws. Okay, that's Ooh, a horrible fast. take. Horrible take. What? Let's continue. Make sure you guys comment down below what animal you think would be at the top of the food chain if humans never existed. Disease share 99% of our DNA. Just because we share this DNA means they are our they closest living the relatives. Chain. They would likely evolve and get almost as oh, smart wait, as actually, us whoa. one day. But actually, if we're just talking about wait, our species of Wait, but why does our human, existence matter in the chimpanzee evolution scheme? Neanderthals were very know. intelligent Don't beings know. despite their media depiction. They oh, yeah, were true. very early humans, but they were wiped out. This was from oh. Homo sapiens battling them and interbreeding with them. So if only Homo sapiens hey, never it's me. existed, Let's Homo go. Neanderthalus <laughs> would take our place. The natural world would be very different without- Is he, He's saying it like it's a fact. Is that a fact? I, I don't know. It sounds like a lot of it is like scientifical speculation. Like they don't know for sure if any of this is actual reality. We'll never know. Oh wait, that's true, true because humans exist. Yeah, you're right. Humans do yeah. exist right, right. now. No, contrary to popular belief. That's a good point. This whole video is yeah. hypothetical. Without humans, yep. there would be far more drinkable water available. Right now, only 0.007% really? of Earth's what? water is accessible to us. That's our fault? This is because of wow. various man no. problems. No way. For example, creating toxicity in the water. Oh. Without humans, Dude. the weather would be very different too. The global yep. temperature would be far colder. The climate is affected by nature mm -hmm. like the sun and humans too. That would stink. The lower True. temperature would also cause more snow to fall on Earth. CO2 yeah. levels would also be far lower. It's believed that the industrial revolution Revolution increased CO2 levels by 20%. Wow. Of course, that has made the world we know and love today. But if humans weren't around, then there would be far less CO2. This also means that there would be no hole in the ozone layer. Scientists- I thought that the hole got filled up, didn't it? What hole got filled? What are you talking about? Isn't the hole filled, the ozone layer hole? Isn't it filled you, by some now? some sort of Bill Nye the science guy? I'm pretty I don't know. sure it's- I, I think it's slightly smaller. I think it's shrinking. I think that the hole's going down in size.
because let's, we've been doing a good job. Let's go to our let's also, go to our uh, scientific expert, Alec. I don't know, but I, well, I'm pretty sure global warming would happen regardless of humans. But we're just uh, uh, um, speeding up the process. We're, yes, we're, but we're just expediting the process. So okay, what he's saying is to. true, but at the same time, it would still happen. Like we would still ha gl global warming would still exist without us. Just it would just be slower. That's all. Us humans. We we're not but scientists. We have no idea what we're talking Maybe about. Fixed I don't know what I'm years. talking about. Areas in the world damaged by humans, like Chernobyl in Ukraine, would be safe. Chernobyl Ooh, that is, is the true. most toxic place in the world. That's because in 1986, there was a nuclear power plant oh, meltdown. Wow. Many other animals would also be alive if humans did you not exist. you tell me the mammoth would still this exist? Especially true. Oh, yeah, we, we, hunt, we hunted the them to extinction. Years, there's Do we even know if they're real? decline in marine what? life. It's well, believed we this is thanks to our climate yeah. changing, and also humans fishing on a massive scale. Amazing animals like the woolly mammoth no would also still no exist. Way. I don't believe it's that. It's believed yeah, these it went extinct for two main reasons. This includes environmental factors and also humans hunting them for meat. But some living things would crazy. not exist. For example, in isn't a woolly mammoth just like an elephant with fur? <laughs> I think uh, so. In its most basic form, yeah, it's, it's kind of like the polar bear compared to. It's regular like bears. Alex's mom, kind of same same weight how, class. How how have you managed to put my mom into this conversation? I'm just saying, don't they would laugh. still be around if the humans didn't- at? Don't laugh, uh, that's not funny. Kill them off. They, dude, so they, the humans true, killed Jack. everybody How off. is that true? My mom is not a no, guys, mammoth. guys, I do want to bring up a pretty good point that the dogs wouldn't be around. Normal dogs as we know it would not be around because the only reason we have dogs is because oh, we yeah. breeded different wolves together and wolves and dogs, or wolves and humans evolved together. Wait, guys. There would be no dogs without earlier us. Earlier when we said what would be the highest on the food chain, we didn't even discuss crocodiles. Yeah, because that's, that's not even close. No, that's a horrible point. There's well, no Alec, way crocodiles think about everything. There. Also, so, wait, woolly mammoths could be up there too because they never would have went extinct. Also, saber-toothed tigers would probably still be around. Yeah, but they're close no to way. like. No way! I feel like cheetahs. you're just saying that. Mm. Yeah, I feel like you just. No way that humans hunted every single woolly mammoth. They did. It, dude. It, it's happened to so many different animal species. We've hunted That's so true. many That's animals true. out of existence. Humans are crazy. We almost we got rid of meat. every single bison ever to meat. exist. Includes environmental factors and also humans hunting them for meat. But some living things would not exist. For example, <clears throat> indoor plants would never exist. These have been That's bred true. by humans yeah, to be indoors. Obviously. <laughs> also, plants like fruits would there would look be very no indoors. different. Modifications have been done to fruit and vegetable yeah. seeds. Yeah, we made bananas. This is to make them look that. different and taste better. But Whoa. of course, if this oh, was wow. all natural and humans no were way. messing yeah, with we've, the seeds, we've made a lot of the fruits and case. vegetables it's safe that to we say eat some today. Some of our favorite Ew. foods would look and taste very different. I feel like you didn't know this stuff, Jack, but you're just seeing it and then telling. <laughs> Us, as if you did know oh, prior. No, 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 <laughs> like, you're like, oh, yeah, I'm not, yeah, that guy. No, I'm not, I'm not Neil deGrasse smart. Tyson or whatever that dude is. No, 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 no. You guys have never done, like, you guys have never seen that, like, bananas Jack. are genetically modified plantains. I didn't want to say it, but it seems like Jack doesn't know anything, and he's just saying I, I, yes to dude, everything. He's that's what you I'm guys saying. actually, you guys didn't know that we uh, made most of the stuff, no, like, that Jack. we eat? Jack, Jack you're come ridiculous. on. Jack, come on. Wait, wait, do you guys that. think that but did you guys think that bananas were like already existing before humans? And he just said that they were. They would just look <laughs> different. They're still so bananas. Dumb. No, they're not, dude. Plantains. Like we literally modified different. we modified it's plantains okay. Jack, to become it's okay. bananas. No, it's you're, right. just Jack, words, it's right. you're just saying words. Jack, it's all right that you didn't know. Just, it's okay guys, not to guys, know things. It's okay. Don't worry about it. It's really okay. I'm not faulting you guys. You guys are just dumb. You may think that whatever happens, cockroaches really dive deep in this research. They're one of the most rugged animals in the world. World. They could even survive a nuclear blast. I heard but that. Yep. Did you know that, Jack? I actually knew that. Jack, did you know uh, that? <laughs> I know that. Do you guys know like the water bear thing? Yeah, like the water, water bear, bear like yeah. microscopic thing yeah, can yeah, like survive yeah. anything. I knew about that. Not cockroaches though. Cockroaches. Sure. Yeah. I know the only way to kill them is to flush them down the toilet. Without humans, humans generate the heat cockroaches need. And without us, Ew. cockroaches would cease to exist. If Actually, humans never existed, go. there would be more visible oh, stars from Earth. On one third of our planet, you can't see our galaxy. This is because of light pollution. Of course, oh, wow. without humans, there yeah, would be it's no crazy artificial how many stars light. There actually are and out the there. only light source we would have is from the sun. Also, There's many infinite. endangered animals would be alive if humans weren't. Many species go extinct because of human generated no, wait, we're not blamed for the dinosaur extinctions. And in some cases, hunting and fishing makes animals go extinct. If humans never existed, then human diseases also would not exist. Oh many my gosh. Rely on humans. Oh, I mean, speaking of things that are going to go extinct, gingers are eventually going to go extinct, right? They say in like 50 
50 years. You guys are all gone? Wait, Alec. I'm a rare okay? breed, man. Serious? I'm a rare breed. <laughs> Alec, this is a safe space. Wait, are we'll you saying that it. or is that real? 50 years, it's, you're done? It's real. You, could, it's real. you could very well be the last ginger. It's a, it's a touchy topic. Are you guys serious? Oh, yeah. Yeah, right? yeah, serious. I'm actually I'm, fine with that. I feel like Manny from Ice Age. <laughs> I'm kind of cool with that, Jack. <laughs> the last ginger. Yeah, I think it's okay. I think it's for the best, honestly. Yeah. If you guys hate gingers, okay. leave a comment. This <laughs> not only wipes out humans, but animals too. But on the flip side, if humans never that one existed, of those hairless cats? many incurable diseases would never be cured. Humans Ooh, have yeah. figured out how to okay, cure Okay, here we go. We get diseases. some credit now. This is using medicines made by Seriously. us. And these Finally. medicines are used on humans and animals too. Humans are that We're just combating natural selection, aren't we? as much biodiversity as Africa. This means lions, tigers, zebras, and giraffes would roam the USA. The oh. world would basically be like one wait, gigantic what? zoo. The Great Barrier Reef would also wait, still wait, be wait, 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 wait. How is that even possible? I don't know. Wait, how would the U.S. have lions? How would the lions make boats and get over? You're saying that they would evolve to eventually have boats? Yeah, because the fish come up from the land and then eventually grow legs and then oh. they become a lion. It's I feel like simple. this entire video is just this guy roasting humans and saying how bad we are. He's saying like life I mean, would be awesome without humans, pretty much. Yeah. This guy this hates point, the, the guy, human species. Yeah, he's, he's gonna say that the sun's gonna explode if the, the human race still keeps going on. This is ridiculous. It's this our is fault. Kind of a hate Every, everything is our fault. This video stinks. Over two thirds of the reef has passed away. It's believed Wait, this is thanks to human-generated environmental factors. But if it is coming back. Oh, that place is cool. Where is that? Of plants. Uh, Rainforest Cafe. They'd have more land to develop and grow. A sad thing is the Don't dog population like you just know would be a lot lower. There would be Wait, nearly 900 million fewer dogs in the world without humans. No way. Oh, who said that, guys? Guys, let's get an instant replay. Who talked about the, the dogs? Yeah, I think Jack's before. watched Jack? this video before. Yeah, I was literally about to say, Jack's watched this video, taking notes, and written everything down. So who everything this guy says, Jack's like, yep, that's true. Somebody, nope, that's not true. Somebody, actually, did you know? Somebody was talking about everything. dogs earlier. It's somebody somebody <laughs> knew about the dogs. I don't know who it was, but... Jack just knows about really every smart. single thing. Whoever brought up that dog point is probably really intelligent. You guys didn't know Jack's genius. Land and biodiversity. And this means there may be new species of animals Please tell me there's no cats. Oh, Maybe what? a flying dog or a I'd big fine cat. With that. I'm big this guy's trying to convince me that On flying dogs would land, exist. I... Like the Amazon wait, 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 what did he say? Maybe new species of animals we can't even comprehend. No. Maybe a flying dog what? or a big cat that lives underwater. What? On the subject uh -huh. of land, areas like the Amazon rainforest no. would be a lot larger. Over 20% of the Amazon rainforest has been lost to I think Charles Darwin would dislike this video. This is mainly to make way for beef farms and also cutting trees down for things like paper and wood. But on the flip side of that, without humans, there would be far less animals like yes, cows and chicken. That's because these things are extensively far. <laughs> That's because there's less McDonald's without humans. <laughs> With no humans, there would be no plastic waste. That's because it's a man-made item. Right really? now, there's enough plastic landfill <laughs> yeah. on Earth to cover the country of Argentina. Yeah, he's but right without on this us, one. that would never have existed. Another That's weird consequence crazy. of having no humans would be bees. Human radio signals confuse bees and cause them to pass away. Without these Wait, signals, there would be more funny. bees in the world. <laughs> Actually, Another pretty obvious Wait, thing is that, that without works? humans, there would be no building. Does that happen to you too, Adam? You get confused? I get some weird frequency sometimes. That's why I forget things all the time. It's the frequency, man. Frequencies. I thought I was telling you. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. It's the frequencies. It's 5G. Adam is half B. They're my controlling base. Can you even imagine a world without any buildings made by man? Without humans, all no. animals that exist would be wild. It's believed there's around really? 7 billion pets in the world. But none of these animals would be kept as pets without humans. They would roam free. It's pretty without much saying humans, there would also it would be, be planet more of the trees, apes if we didn't exist. More oxygen. And the polar ice caps would also melt at a slower rate. Not only that, there would Whoa. be around 4.3 trillion more no. fish in the Whoa, world. That's Fishing and pollutants have decreased the fish population by trillions. Wow. But without us, that would not have happened. But it's not all bad. Many would agree that humans have transformed the earth for the better. Simply by go. living, humans do amazing things. We've made friends, families, connections, businesses, We've jobs, to the flipping ideas, moon. and thoughts. People make new creations and inspirations every single day. And we've been doing this since we can remember. From the first early cave paintings to modern art. Let's and go, from Al. the invention of the wheel and the fire to cave. the iPhone now. Even things yeah, humans have done to damage the planet, we're now undoing. We're planting more trees than ever before. Team trees, baby. There are less people living in poverty than ever before. Cases of disease have been dropping too. Here the population go. is also growing, meaning that we'll have new ideas and new people. 
and <laughs> world hunger is also video. at an all-time low. It's believed in 2021 the human population <laughs> may cross 8 billion. And it has crossed 8 billion. Say, that is a positive thing. Are we close but to 9 billion? now that we know what the Earth would uh, have been like so. if humans never existed, it's time just to make your voice recently. heard. Comment below what you think are the best and worst things humans have done to the world. If you um, want some more amazing videos... Right, best and worst things that humans have ever done. Best thing, Rocky Road ice cream. Worst thing, uh, it's gotta be the ginger thing. Yeah. I'm literally right here. The comments don't really say anything. The video barely has any likes. This video is all over the place. They, they talked about humans not being there and some of the random effects and there was they talked about flying dogs would be a thing if humans weren't around there are eight billion people in the world what would happen if they all lived in one building well we're about to find out a little over three months ago i released a video about what if everybody on earth lived inside the same Adam, city that's today earth, we're going to talk about know. something perhaps even more terrifying here it's flat what if everybody on earth lived inside the same that building? has to be the tallest How building of all time have to be to house all 7.4 billion of us alive there's over 8 right billion now. people nowadays it's not a so even more question, it? i think it would have to be at least 3,000 feet what do you guys think i'm gonna say it probably touches the moon yeah well it matters no, how wide no, it is no, too no. if it's just like a one i don't know one foot by one foot giant like you know you it matters how wide fit. it is all right all right calm down alec Cyrus. you're calm alec down, down. Three calm feet down. wide i didn't know like how wide how wide alec, are the you're people three are feet you? wide you got it yeah, you're, you're big buddy you need to calm yeah, down you're, you're not fitting in this space. space okay i'm gonna say the building needs to be three miles high at least four alex wide. three miles more. high it's gotta be more it's not as strange of a question as it may seem at first this picture right here is the town of whittier Alaska, and by that I mean that the entire town is located inside of this one building. Whoa! The what? Everyone lives in there. Two hundred fourteen people. Oh, that's, that's the most not part, a lot of people. Inside this single people. building, and they really don't have to ever leave it. This is okay. because almost all of the. Imagine that building. That that was only two hundred people. Imagine seven billion people. How big that building would have to be? That building was big. That building was like the size of an apartment complex. Really, in so Idaho. Understand. Why so is it, Alex it, so it, torqued it's, up? It's like it. kind of big but like it was only maybe like 100 feet tall so let's 100 feet times 7.4 i didn't million. know alec had such a fascination that's neither did gotta i be, but this is interesting it's gotta dude be all the way to the moon that's what my guess is, is. No. This make is sure true. you guys comment down below what you guys think how tall would this building have to be to mars to jupiter no, no, to saturn no, no, just the moon no, no, just no, no, i don't know you would normally find inside of a city are all located inside of the building inside you can find the city's police department the post office the mayor's office a general store a grocery what? store, a hospital, How a is that that's pretty cool. hotel, a church in the basement, wow. and even an indoor playground complete oh. with a What? That's the actually pretty cool. Is the For city, 200 people. The residents of the it city looks can crooked. stay indoors almost indefinitely whenever the weather begins to get bad because all of the city's services as well as their homes are all located inside of it. But even still, just 214 people live here. That's not even close to 7.4 billion. Race. So let's get That's what I was saying. It's pretty close. With the largest seating capacity. The AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas, is the home of the Dallas Cowboys, and is truly 64, enormous, larger than the U.S. Capitol building, and capable yeah, of seating it's, it's 80, less than what I said. Oh, people, which 80, means that you can comfortably people. seat the that's entire of population people. of Andorra. But that's just like seating them. That's not taking care of them. It's the largest indoor that's stadium true. in the world, which is located here in Pyongyang, North Korea, and is called Rungrado First Hundred thirty thousand. It has oh, the capacity wow. to seat 114,000. Oh, wow. That's a lot of people. What do they have there? That's in North Korea? They have, yeah, I would say, about 114,000 seats. What do you think well, they do, do they there? What do they do there? Like, what kind of activities? Do they just, like, uh, fight? Probably soccer, death? if I had to guess. Like, a soccer. potato race? Like a a potato race? race? I don't know. I don't know. Well, what else? Like, what? I don't know. What else could even be in there that's that's that interesting? I think they it's do. It's got to be soccer. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Could be. No, that's actually, that has to be it. You're right. Great thought. Great thought, Adam. Brain blast. It's a good idea, honestly. Okay, dude. The AT&T Stadium, or about the same population as the island of Kiribati, or about 20% of the population of Wyoming. But even that That's isn't such a as big weird as the largest stat. ever planned indoor stadium, which would have been constructed in Berlin by Nazi Germany had they won the Second World War. The building would have been That's called rough. the Volkshall and would have been capable of seating 180,000 people oh, wow. inside. Jeez. About 5% of the population of modern-day Berlin. 
The Not anywhere close so to 7.4 billion, though. Architects calculated that well, thank God it didn't get built, you know? <laughs> Why are they using this as a reference, bro? <laughs> seems, like they, good. seems like they had the blueprints and everything for this one. <laughs> yeah, this is very good that this was not built. Let's, yeah, let's seriously, yep. this could have been really bad. Yeah, I wonder what they would have done in there. They're so. just trying to understand the scale of how big things can get. That's, to that's pretty big. That's a lot of people. 180,000 people, like it's like big, people but not 7.4 billion big. Actually created artificial rain inside, causing the building to have its own weather. Artificial if rain. If we move to outdoor oh, stadiums, wow. however, which would still be one building in a sense, then we can fit much more people. The largest outdoor stadium currently is the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, capable of seating 235,000. Oh, wow! Oh, wow. Yo! Reno, Nevada. But once That's again, insane. the Nazis had plans for an even larger stadium okay, in what is going on? victory in World War II. Their plans were to construct the <laughs> Deutsche Stadion in Nuremberg, which would have been capable of seating a massive 405,000. Oh, holy what? cow! What would you Bro, do there? What is Horse this video? Races? What video? I don't know. <laughs> what does this have to do with how many people? No, they're fit trying to. In they're one trying building. to make you understand how many people could fit in the, in a human-made thing. Whoever made this video brought up Nazi Germany twice. Like, what is they, their? They issue? had to. They the Nazis had down. big expectations. They are double. Down on this yeah, theory seriously, here. what is going right, on? Four to five thousand. That's half a million. That's nowhere near. That's All right, one percent of seven point four billion. Lower your voice. You're way too like in on this. Like, I'm just saying they're they're trying to get the scale. We're not even close to seven point four billion. More than the population of New Orleans, and over five times the seating capacity of the AT&T Stadium. Hitler planned that after Germany won World War II, every single Olympic Games for the rest of history would take place here at this stadium. But because the war was lost, the stadium was never finished. However, the largest building anywhere in the world in terms of how many people are Ooh. meant to fit inside of it would be the Great Mosque in Mecca, Saudi Arabia. During the Hajj period, the mosque Whoa. has the capacity to wow. fit 4 million Whoa, 4 million? It, is wow! Wait a second, wait a second. There wait are a second. That's insane. That could, in fit more people than this, though. They're not designed to fit people, but we're going to see what could happen if we did so anyway. Okay. Before we get started with this part, though, let's figure out how many people we could safely fit inside of one square meter. After a lot of research, That's a good idea. it seems that anything over one? 5 people per square meter could be potentially dangerous okay. and lead to people trampling each other. 5 people in so, one square meter? Limit. Well, yeah, they have to get that so that they can figure meet. out how tall they can build this giant building. Dude, everyone's gonna be smushed together. So well, they, yeah, they're trying to this... make it smushed but not uncomfortable. They're trying to make sure that everybody like has a good living space. No, 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 this is not living space though. I thought I was under the impression that everyone would live in this building and like have they their will. own room, their own. They will. No, this is saying five people per square meter. That's no, a yeah, three by gonna three. Live. They're gonna live in that. Some people live in that. Three feet by three feet, Jack. Four people in each five less people than that. three feet three feet is a yard a meter is less so you're saying that how would anyone live in that they gotta figure it out dude you're crazy i don't know I think what this alex is just... saying but i agree with jack okay dude this is just i'm pretty sure this is just saying how many people could fit in a building could not like live. live well let's see let's figure it out able to possibly fit into one square meter the largest building in the world in terms of its physical footprint on the earth's surface is going is to it be tesla? the tesla gigafactory once it's yeah whoa how'd you know that Nevada. It's I'm gargantuan really when compared to the AT&T Stadium and the U.S. Capitol Building, and it would take up a physical space of 530,000 square meters, Whoa. or a little larger than Vatican City. Which means that you could fit the world's smallest country completely inside of the boundaries of the world's largest building. At five people per square meter, that means that you could fit 2,650,000 people wow. inside the building all indoors. More people than live in okay. all of Namibia. So we're at the scale of entire countries worth of people fitting inside one building now, but we can still get much larger. The largest building ever designed in terms of the floor space that it would occupy was the what Crystal Island building, which would have been this built is real? Moscow, it not halted. Had it have been completed, it would oh. have possessed oh, it's two not and a half million square meters worth of floor space. Oh wow. my gosh, that looks have awesome! A staggering twelve million five hundred wow. miles wow. more than the entire population of Belgium. But we can still go even bigger if we begin to take a three-dimensional view rather than the two-dimensional view that we've had so far. With this in mind, the average height for a modern human is roughly 1.63 meters. Therefore, if we construct a cube with a one square meter base and a height of 1.63 meters, then we could fit five average humans inside of it. This gives us okay. 0.326 cubic meters per person, or 3.07 people per cubic meter. 
With this math in mind, the largest building in the world in terms of sheer volume is the Boeing Everett factory located in Washington. The building oh, possesses 13.3 million cubic meters oh, located wow, they can fit a lot of people in that. That's so a lot that of the people. The building has its own <laughs> microclimate somewhat similar to what the proposed Volks Hall in Berlin would have been like. Adding floors into the building with an average height of just 1.63 meters each, capable of fitting the average human inside, oh and we my could theoretically gosh. fit 40 million 831 oh, no way. Wow. Wow. 40 million That's like 20% of, of America. Of That's still nothing, Norway, though, compared Sweden. to 8 billion. Still so many That's more like 20 million Alex. Alex. Latvia and Lithuania all combined and still have room left over for all of Serbia just for good measure. That's the largest building wow. in the world, though, and that's still not even 1% of the entire population. So we just do that, that and then we stack it on it. top of one. You have to do that a hundred times. We construct a new building, and if we did so, what is the smallest possible size that it could be to fit all of us? Well, at the time of making this video, the world population is currently 7.478 billion people. If oh my we cram people into the same density as we did inside the Boeing factory, then we would require a volume of 2.436 billion cubic meters. <laughs> 2.436 Oh my cubic gosh. Kilometers. The building would be a cube with sides of 1.346 kilometers in that length. That is the depth. <laughs> right that looks like someone from, that from Star is Wars. Huge. This seems big, but placed in downtown New York City, it would actually oh. look like this, inside of which you can actually it's Kevin. Wow. Well, th I mean, they they make it seem like it's not that big. Those Fortnite are skyscrapers next to it, dude. Like when you stand next to a skyscraper, your neck is broke looking up at it. And th this is like eight skyscrapers tall. Well, compared to a human being, big. yeah, you're 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 not gonna be able to understand the size of this. Right. I'm I'm just saying it's a lot taller than they make it seem out to be. I think because look, oh like gosh. these little buildings it's, on here, that is a skyscraper. Size, it's like it's like at least five Eiffel towers. It's gotta be at least like three. Empire State Buildings. It's more, huge. More. Would These you, are almost the size of Empire State Buildings at the bottom, like at the bottom of it. It's almost the size of it. That's got to be like eight, probably nine. Wow. It is massive. Yeah, that is enormous. If there was a ladder on the outside and I offered you $50,000 to climb to the top, would you do it? No, I would not. Jack? I'd do it for 60. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> you guys are crazy. It's you a ladder. You just climb the ladder. Dude, I'd that is, that that, it, it is oh, it's a mile high. I don't I'd think I could no, it's physically more, it, do that. I'd climb it. I'd climb it. I'd climb it. He'd climb it because he's not a loser. And how are you getting down? How I'm gonna are you climbing a, down? Alec, Alec, listen you to take me. I'm going to I'm gonna have a parachute. Yep. Oh, yeah, or the oh a parachute could work, actually. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Parachute. That's that's fair. Human being how tall is this today? cube? The tallest building in 1. the 1.3 kilometers. The Khalifa at nearly 830 meters high. But the tallest building under construction that will be done in 2020 is the Jeddah Tower, which will be much higher when finished at 1,008 meters. Oh, my God. Is it done? The Jeddah Tower? That's tall. The cube would only be about half a mile high than the Tesla Gigafactory as well. So building the cube is certainly within the realm of possibility. And if it was built, the entire human race alive today, all 7.478 billion of us we could should all do fit it. inside of a building that would only take around half an hour to jog around. But we couldn't live in it. We would just be able to fit. That's all. That's all it's saying. Now we need to figure out exactly how tall the building would be if we could all live. We couldn't True. live, but could we love? Agoraphobia <laughs> is defined as the fear of open spaces, public transit, shopping malls, or simply being outside of your home. But is the oh, fear really realistic? Adam has that. And is it actually possible to live <laughs> your entire life completely indoors? <laughs> and weirdly, if the entire human species suffered from this phobia, then could we all theoretically live inside of one gigantic building and not ever have to Imagine leave playing hide and seek in that building. That would be awesome! You'd the never find yes, them. Impossible. It would be impossible, but awesome. Before venturing into the Dude, the staircases and the elevators in that would be insanely long. In the same building. It's true. Perhaps the most realistic proposal of fitting an entire city's worth of people inside of the same building is the Shimizu Mega City Pyramid, Whoa. which is planned to be built Ooh, in the inside of a pyramid in Japan. When finished, the pyramid is expected to be 14 times taller. Oh my gosh! The what? Of what? Of Egypt at just over two kilometers tall. can't be tall. No. Be no, 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 no. There's no way they finish that. One million people who will That's live insane. inside of it. That what? That the building That's crazy. The entire population that would of actually be kind of sick, of Montana, though. Or house the population of entire large cities like San Jose, California, or Cologne, Germany. 
The building would have 8 wow. square kilometers of floor space when finished, which is four times larger than the actual country of Monaco, and even larger oh. than the UK territory Holy of smoke. Gibraltar. Holy smoke, dude, that is However, insane! However, a building this massive cannot actually be they built with that. current construction technology. I know it. Construction is anticipated to begin in the year 2030, and the building okay. is projected to be completed by the year 2110, which no! is... No! Think about it. It's gonna take 80 years to build? Wow! Years from now, if you're watching that this is way too close. late for us. Which Think of all the history that could possibly happen within 93 years, and this building still may not even be finished after all of that. It's not completely unprecedented, however. This cathedral in the city of York first started being built in the year 1220. Imagine being the first person who laid down the first brick to begin building this cathedral. He would have spent his entire lifetime working on the project, and so would have his son, and his son, oh my and gosh. his son, no way. and his son, that is and so crazy. on until 252 years later, no the cathedral way. was wow. finally finished being built. Nine generations would have passed from the time that the first person huh. began working on it. It would have been like if your relative from 1765 had begun building something and you today right now just finished it. You probably wow. can't even think of any relatives wow. that you may have even had. <laughs> all right, all right. And that problem would have been even more <laughs> That's severe That's actually in the crazy to think about. A distant crazy. relative would have begun building a building and their name would have been long forgotten, but you, centuries later, would be <laughs> still working on and completing what they had originally started anyway. It's very strange to think about, but let's move back to the Mega Pyramid That's building cool, in the actually. distant future of 2110. I do want to hear about this Power pyramid. is generated by solar panels on the building's okay. trusses. Transportation is provided Wait, really? by massive accelerating walkways, elevators, okay. and personal rapid transit tubes with automated shuttle pods that zip from one part of the building to another. The building is full cool of idea. homes, offices, restaurants, stores, and is a fully functioning it's city have of everything. one million people who live yep. entirely indoors. Nobody would have to really ever leave, but one million people isn't all of us. So let's envision something like this, but on a much larger scale. It has to be First seven off, billion times bigger. Would be that would be a big pyramid. On Earth to place a building that could house all the Bermuda Triangle. Eight billion of us. South America. My answer is probably Brazil, and specifically right here. The reasoning for this is Why? largely because of water, since 12% of all the Earth's surface fresh water oh, is located that makes sense. in Brazil, and the second largest dam in the world is located nearby. Oh, that's I'll get cool. more into the reasoning later, so let's assume that we've moved everybody's houses and homes as they are together into one place. Everybody on Earth gets to keep their current size living space, so what would this oh, look wow. like altogether? For reference, the average U.S. house built in 2013 was 241 square meters in size. According to the U.N., however, 13% of the world population lives in 5 square meters or less of living space. 28% huh? have between 5 and wow. 9 square meters of space, 24% have between 10 and 14 square meters, 18% have between 15 and 19 square meters, and only 18% of the world's population lives in 20 square meters or greater sized houses. Wow. Wait a second, wait a second. Is that saying? No. That's not saying like what I think it's saying, right? Like the, okay, like our house is uh, maybe like 300 square meters. I don't know exactly. I have no idea. This is saying 2,500 square feet is 240 meters. And this just said 13% of the world's population lives in five square meters. Five? Yeah, it is what it's saying. Wait, oh, is that a tiki hut? What is that? Or, or a Wait, tiki it's hut? Really, it's really tiny. We're probably yeah. in the top like 5% now. Like, of, of, ho of house owners? Yeah, no, wow. we're lucky with the space that we have. Most people don't have a lot of space. But like five? Dude, they said like 10 meters of that's, space. To yeah. yeah, you're probably on top of people. Yeah. That's that is crazy. Some, that's how some people live. Small apartments, I guess, counts. If you're in yeah. New York City, you're probably... Probably I in that feel 13%. like you're talking about, about like that. a literal box. Like you're living in a box, bro. Your room is pro is like three square meters. Yeah, that's 13 percent of the population yeah. lives in your room. I wish. American houses are certainly not the global norm, and averaging out all of these numbers gives us a building with 90,860 square kilometers of living space in a two-dimensional view, about the size of Jordan in the Middle East if it was all just one floor. But if we constructed the building to be as high as the current tallest residential building in the world at 440. 14 meters or 101 stories high, then the living space of everybody on Earth would take up an area of around 900 square kilometers on the surface, a little less than wow. the size of the Faroe Islands. That's in nothing. Way. That As is food, literally nothing. After a lot of research, it appears that sweet potatoes yeah. are the most calorie intensive crop thinking. that you can grow. If we utilized efficient farming techniques and made use of vertical farms with artificial sunlight, we could construct a one cubic kilometer building that would be dedicated solely to producing sweet potatoes for our population. Each cubic. That's all we eat. Farm 
learned I do that like there's sweet enough potatoes. sweet potatoes to feed over 27 million people a 1,500 calorie per day diet. So if we also built 275 of these buildings connected to the main sweet living potatoes? space, then we could feed the that's entire a, human race And only 1,500 calories, that's nothing. Pure sweet potatoes. Since humans need to drink 2 liters of water to survive each day, and the nearby dam has a reservoir of 29 cubic kilometers, we could have enough drinking water nearby to last us for over 4,000 years. What? Of course, some of the water would be used for other purposes like agriculture, but it would still be enough to last for centuries using all of wow, our needs inside the Wow, I didn't realize we had that much water. Maximum efficiency Dude, that looks that was sick. Was that is cool. Finally, you would live there? Need space for other things besides just Probably. Living. There's skyscrapers the on top of a giant skyscraper. Of the are for residential property, while the remaining 25% is for commercial, manufacturing, transportation, or park space. If we kept that same ratio in our mega building, then we would add an additional 225 square kilometers worth of building space on the Earth's surface that would stand as high as the residential portion. Altogether, our mega building that could house all of humanity in the same living space that they live in today, complete with all water needs, a diet of pure sweet potatoes, stores, parks, and transportation would take up an area of 1,339 square kilometers. That is nothing, surface, man. Still just a little smaller than the Faroe Islands in Denmark. That the is crazy to think about. The and agriculture would be one kilometer high, and the rest of the building would be 414 meters high. In terms of power, the nearby dam would provide a lot of it, but probably wouldn't be enough to power the entire building. It is estimated that a solar panel array the size of Spain could provide enough power for the entire world's energy needs. So, a grouping of solar panels of this size nearby the building would provide way more than enough since humanity would be using much less energy all concentrated ah, together. Okay. The solar panels would be just like the, the Shimizu Mega City Pyramid, handled by thousands of elevators, walkways, and okay. automated shuttle pods moving in tunnels inside the building. Life wouldn't exactly be very nice on a diet of sweet potatoes and never being able to leave the That's building. That's what I'm saying, man. But in a man. catastrophic event like a nuclear war, global warming, yeah, or one a small impact, fire, it it's all over. The whole lethal, building goes into a fire, and then everybody's necessary. dead. Yeah. The political situation inside would certainly be messy, to say the That's least. That's true. Would that would be crazy. Be a section with more living space and a poorer section with less. I feel like the bottom would be a lot of the poorer people, and then like the top would be like the hierarchy. How did you get to that? Were you? actually get like fresh air and stuff are you a genius the, the poor oh people are on gosh. the bottom and then the How rich people are on top that? i was thinking Dude. about it for a while actually wait this no entire way video. no oh way gosh. the poor people and, are on the bottom and, and, and then the rich people are on the top and you move up the levels as you get richer and richer and richer i honestly i thought they would be all mixed around you know like equality but yeah, no. I thought like poor people will live in the mansions on the top of everyone else, but I didn't think no, about the way like you that. put it is cr like that's genius, Adam. Thanks, guys. Thank you. I don't know, I don't know if I can think about sick. it. Like that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it may take centuries and generations to build it, and most people would certainly not want to live this lifestyle. But still, it is technically possible that we could all live in the same amount of space that we do now in an area no larger than these islands in the Atlantic Ocean. I can't believe that. That is absolutely insane. Wow. That is absolutely insane if you guys also agree that that's insane make sure you guys leave a like and click on this video for more insane stuff